What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get it on, Benny T says. Final layer, what's going on? Sunday, fun day. Hopefully, y'all can hear me and see me okay. Hopefully. Boom. Just going to get this stuff set up so we can get rocking. This thing is a monster. I've had this for a while. Let me know before we go too much farther if you can hear me, you can see me. All the good things. It looks like some people are coming in, so that's good. How's it going? Good. It's going good. Afternoon. 3D Medic Vince, what's up? Long time, man. All good, Final Layer says. Sounds good. Video is good. I got, what do I got? Bubbler. I got my bubbler today. Well, at least the first one I drank. It was this Lemon Lime Twister Bubbler. I need a little caffeine. We had a... Uh, we had a concert last night. We brought um, the little man to it, and he lasted till like 10 p.m. He did really good, but I didn't get to bed till like after uh, after midnight. By the time we got home and all that stuff, and then he was up at 5:50. <laughs> so I'm dragging Tyler West. What's up, Austin? Any update on hot makes? Well, this is hopefully going to be a hot make. We're going to find out. Justin, how's it going? Um, this is the Elgu. For Max, I've had this for a few months. It is time to get it unboxed um, because you never know if anything bigger is going to come from Elgu. You just you just never know. Um, let's see. Offset. Offset's chatting me. But we're going to start talking while we're unboxing. How about that? I'm going to bed in like an hour. What? I guess you're probably in a different part of the world, right? Seven weeks, that's right, just under, just under. Man, this thing is taped to heck. So I'm hoping it's okay. There's a lot of tape on this thing. Sweden, I love it. Tyler West, how you been, man? We I need to I need to get down by you. You're you're closer to me now. I just need to get down there. All right. That was some serious tape. My, Ender, uh, my entire Ender 3 Pro will fit on the bed of this. Yes, yes. I believe this is uh, what, 420 by 420 by 480 uh, on the build plate size. Speaking of 420, we'll be in Colorado for Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival coming up in uh, a month and a half here. Like Justin said, what, seven weeks or something like that? Seven weeks, just under. Jeff, what's going on? Trying to make plans for a Murph. Do it. That would be amazing. Uh, tell Tim to pick you up on the way by. He's driving, I think. Uh, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be huge. Denmark here. Uh, so yeah, not long till bedtime. Work in the morning. Well, we'll rock and roll for you. How about that? We'll get moving. This thing is a monster. Um, and, and I'll show you what's going on. I want to get this thing going for our across the pond peeps. Here, let's do this. Holy moly. I can't even show you the whole thing in here. Look at that. I'm about to drop my table down, but you can get you can get an idea, a good idea of what it looks like. Man, there's a lot of foam. It needs to be packed good, right? So you kind of get an idea of how big this thing is. Yeesh. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't zoom this thing out any further. Uh, on this side over here, we have what looks to be the hot end. There we go. I'm just going to start setting parts out. Last year I was there, got a chance to meet you. It was great to visit and see the Rockies. Jeff, absolutely. Absolutely. It's it's a fun show. I'm super pumped. Um, I'm guessing this is where filament might have sat, if you actually got rolls of filament with yours. I did. Uh, they sent me a separate box, though. So there's that. There we go. Whole bunch of stuff. Spool holder, it looks like. We'll figure out which way this goes on in a minute, but I'll put it on there for now. Oh, it just, just spins and spins and spins. All right, cool. Spool holder, bag of stuffs. Big bag of stuff that we're going to need. Now, I have not watched any videos on this printer. Um, so, you guys probably know more than I do. I'm guessing that is some sort of um, screen holder. I'm guessing that's a screen holder. It looks like it. 
Um, you guys might know more than I do because I didn't I w didn't watch anything. I didn't want to be swayed. There's a manual. How many printers do I have? I have a few. I have a few. I give a lot away um, to families and schools and, and whoever um, as well. So this is interesting. This, I think, has two fans in it. Uh, there's some power and on-off switch. I think this is a huge blower. Now, I again, I didn't watch any videos on this, but this looks like a monster blower, though. This would be your duct here. Interesting. Interesting. I've had four Max for about four months and love it. Awesome. Well, that's, that's good news. It's good to hear that you love it. This thing has a lot of... A lot of uh, stuff. All right, I'm going to get the gantry out of here. Probably don't have to do that. Oh, maybe. I'm going to get the gantry up and out. And I'm going to set it behind me, but you got an idea. This thing is massive. I'm going to set it back here for now till I can get all the parts out. Woo, loving it. Loving it. All right, what do we got underneath? So, uh, if you haven't heard, this thing is a monster. Update the firmware, bad experience until updated. Okay. Do you get the firmware on their website or, or where do you get it from? Straight from their website? Is it Clipper? What are you thinking? Jeff, Jeff is going to be my, my, um, my expert for Max person on this stream. <laughs> Even the latest didn't fix my experience. Uh oh, that's not good. Well, hopefully we don't have that experience and we have a better experience. Get it on the website, okay? Lots of uh, lots and lots of foam. I'm just trying to get it all out. Oh, looks like some. There we go. I mean, this thing is this this base is a monster. Holy moly! Got some stuff down here. Oh. Looks like a couple uh, of rods. Looks like we're going to have some good stabilization rods there. A small pane use, uh, install using USB and also on the screen. Okay. We'll talk about that. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, imagine I should just run this how it's run, but let's see where we get. Let's see where we get. Maybe we'll do it during the stream, I mean. Gee, many Christmas. Uh, that is a beast. Yes. I mean, you can see. I think you can see the whole build plate here. Watch this. That's my hand. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. I'm just going to uh, move some stuff around here briefly because we need to get this box out of here. I don't know if there's anything else in this. I don't see anything else. So for now, let's get this thing folded up. Let's get it out of here. Yes, uh, 420 by 420 by 480 is the build size on this monster. Not as big as the other one they got coming out, though. The Orange Giga Storm, I believe it's called. I think that's 800 by 800 by 1,000. Here we go. Woo! Now this thing is a monster. Yeah, the Orange Giga Storm is huge. 420. Yeah. We'll be uh, for 3D printing purposes. We will be in Colorado on that day, right? I believe so. Let's see. Got some great advice to upgrade the firmware so far. So we're going to get the instructions out. This thing is a monster. I just dropped something, but it is huge. Let's see. What went flying? Oh, a piece. A piece of something. We'll find out. Not sure what it is, but it went flying off. So hopefully the instructions tell us. All right, I'm already in Colorado. Where's everyone else? Well, I'm in Wisconsin, but good question. We got auto leveling. 
Uh, small prints worked great on the machine, but when I tried a larger print, I couldn't get a produce a usable first layer after precisely dialing in the bed. And uh, screws tilt calibrate in ABL. Interesting. I just fell. That stuff flying. I believe that's a needle to unclog the um, nozzle. I'll put some stuff over here. We got the SD card. We have a network cable, like a, probably a Cat5, if I'm guessing. I have to look at it. Um, giveaway. I'm not sure what that means, but it says giveaway on it. Yeah. So maybe we're supposed to give it away. Come on, focus. What's going on with you? Focus. Wait, are you set to not autofocus? Oh, yeah, it should. Or not. What, what is wrong with you? Are you crazy? <laughs> it has been a minute since I used this one. All right, there we go. It says giveaway on it. Weird. Not sure. Okay, keep moving. Um, whoa. Thank you, I'm doing great. 3DP UK. I don't have a space for a gig storm at my house. <laughs> yeah, right? Amen. Uh, let's see. Because of the large bed, I preheat the bed to 60 for 15 minutes, then level it. Whoa. There's some code that we can add to do it automatically. Then I print, then I print full size of the bed. That's a small price to pay to be able to print something giant. Hmm. Um, all right. This is detector switches. All right. I'm guessing that's a filament runout sensor. Um, <laughs> rapid PLA plus in a tiny little thing. Uh, here's all our screws and stuff. There we go. We got a, uh, a scraper, zip ties, some tools. Um, great, 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 great. Three max is faster when heating the bed. Interesting. Yeah, I'm. I'm curious. Um, like this thing is a monster, but can you imagine having that that big one? I mean, it is. It is seriously huge. All right. Let's start with the instructions. Um, eh, let's go back here for now. I bought the regular size on Amazon because it was used and the box had only been opened. That's it. It's a little beast. Bought it because I had to send my unopened A1 bundle back. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. We got instructions. Step number one. It wants me to put the hot end on the gantry before I get the gantry on the bed. And I'm probably not going to do that. I'm going to do it the opposite way. Step number one and two are install the hot end on the gantry and then install the gantry on the printer. And I want to put the gantry on first. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, nice. The three is taller. Interesting. I want the giga, but uh, I don't have the space. Yeah, right? I'm hoping they get me one. I'm hoping. Uh, right? That, that's what we're hoping. HM5 by 45. We're going to drop the gantry on and screw it in from the bottom. Brian Vines, he was like, he had the five. I think he, uh, Brian Vines had the three max. And he said, you're going to love it. It screws in from the top. I'm guessing the three max does screw in from the top, but this one doesn't. Um, let's see. I heard that too. <laughs> uh, uh, leveling won't be accurate if parts of the bed are different temps, cold versus hot portions. Yeah, interesting. True story. All right. So what we need to do is get this gantry on, because it's so big. I'm probably going to leave you guys right there, and not do the top down for this part because it doesn't make any sense. 
But I am going to get my tusk, trusty T handles. And we're going to break those bad boys out. So, yeah, this is the Elgu 4 Max. This thing is huge. This plate is a monster. Look at this. And this is what, 420, I believe? Um, can you imagine? Basically, oh uh, man, it's going to be huge. Um, the, the, the size of the, the Giga Storm is going to be like four giant plates, right? I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to use four, four plates, like in a square. I have room here for one. I probably don't have room at my house. So it is pretty much a piece of furniture, right? We all know that. I mean, the, the, the Giga. We'll find out. When it comes, if it comes, right? If, if it comes, that's what I meant to say, if. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Can you imagine printing like a monster print, right? You're, you're rocking like giant benchy. You're like, I don't know how many, uh, how much time in. And then it fails like four kilograms in or something. That's going to be an experience, right? I think I think that's one thing that people forget is that the bigger machines are amazing. They're so much fun. You can print huge. But don't forget, you're also using a huge amount of filament. So, you know, there's that part too. But I can't wait. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. For sure. You're going to need five, three to five kilogram spools for sure. I am uh, not going to tighten this all the way up. I'm just going to get it um, kind of tight so it stays. Then I'm going to do the other side. Then I'll come back and tighten these. On the 4Max, a Crystal Dragon took one and a half spools. Holy, holy moly. That's a huge dragon. This thing is a, I mean, it's seriously, it's a monster. All right, those two are in, but not tight. They're in, so it's holding good. But see, I got, <laughs> I got to turn this thing around and get this other side. I, I prefer the method where I just put the edge right off the desk and then come in from the bottom on these. Um, I don't like tipping them if I don't have to. Ooh, I'm considering running my CR10S5 on Clipper with dual bed motors, linear rails. Wow, that will be a beast. The S5 is huge. <laughs> nice. Nose cone mock-ups for the Fortis 900. Wow. The edge of death, yeah, pretty much. The edge of desk, yes. Um, yeah, a, kill, a, a whole, a spool and a half is a, a huge amount of filament for a dragon. That is awesome. That must be one monster dragon. 15% infill three layers. Three walls? Is that what you're going for? I don't know. Hopefully it's more than three layers or you have one serious uh, nozzle on there. <laughs> Valerie, how you doing? All right. So I got this side in three walls. Okay. Just making sure. I mean, three, three layers. That would be one heck of a, one heck of a nozzle. Okay. I'm going to spin this around a little more. My gosh. This thing's huge. All right. Very flat and long, yeah. Offset Maker Lab, what is up? I think you just tried to chat me or something. I saw a notification and then I uh, didn't look at it yet. I just saw the notification. All right. We are going. Woo! 
I think I'm gonna turn it for like that for now. This thing is this thing's a beast. <sighs> I think you could build yeah, you uh, oh yeah, belt printer. There you go. There you go. Uh two ki two kilograms of filament in the process trying to fix it. Wow. Um next is the it looks like this, I'm guessing the screen mount. So we're going to grab a four of the PM 40 by 20s. And everything's labeled really nicely, which is nice. Uh, it looks like three of those, sorry. And it's going to go right here. So I'm going to have to flip this thing around so we can all experience this together. <laughs> I believe it's going to go somewhere in the side over here. Let's look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what it says. Ooh, of course, I can't see it. Oh, there is three three screws right here. Let's see if I can give you an okay view right here. Hello. All good. Just random rumor race car stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Like this one? Yeah? <laughs> it's a masterpiece. I hope yours was a one-off. You never know, right? Hey, dude, what's up? Um, but I did speak to Mandic at Smurf, and he had similar negative experience. Yeah, it. I mean, it happens. You just never know, right? You just never know. Once in a while, there's just a bad one floating. We'll hope this is not one of them. Again, this is the Elgu 4 Max. Currently, we're building it, putting this uh, beautiful, whoa, that was loud, beautiful screen holder together. Um, as long as I get the, the holes in the right positions, right? There we go. Oh, let's see. This has a nice size, like my CR-10, nice. Um, this one is four hundred, uh, what, four twenty by four twenty, by, uh, by four eighty, I believe. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I cannot see. There we go. Recently printed a full size chessboard frame, and it came out great. Nice, nice. I mean, I love the idea of printing huge. Matter of fact, I have a huge printer I haven't finished yet. Um, speaking of offset, <laughs> I need to finish mine still. It's a it's a 500 rat rig. So 500 by 500 by 500. And I need to finish it. I need to get it done. How's yours going uh, offset? I don't know who's I don't know who's talking to me from from offset, but we'll just call you offset. That's fine. <laughs> um, now it looks like it's time to put the antenna on, which is this little guy here. Must be for the Wi-Fi if you want it, and it just screws in here. It's Ryan. Okay. Hey, you never know. Usually, I think it is you, but okay. Little Wi Fi guy in. Now it's time to uh, put the screen on. Don't worry, I'm not going to peel it. Um, I think it just sits on like that, flips around, and I'll show you this in a second. And it plugs in right to the side. So, su super simple so far. Very, very simple in um, so far. Keyword is so far, right? Oh boy. Yeah. Hmm. Can't get my ADXO working right. Weird. Uh, bros, I can't even get anything to fix under extrusion on this bad boy. Ooh. Okay. We'll have to check it out, right? All right. What do we got here? Looks like the spool holder. Oh, you know, I never put the hot end on. I better go back to that part since I said I'm going to wait. Remember? Remember that time? When I said, yeah, I'm going to put that on second. Well, I didn't do it yet. So, I need. Not that one. Not that one. 
Not that one. Um, I need PM three by eights and PM three by fourteens. Nope, it is this one. And I'll, I'm going to give you a better view of this somehow. We'll figure out a way. We will do that. Okay. Hot end. Check. Let's see. I have an idea to give you a better view. Mine is I pre-ordered it, so maybe the early ones had issues. Considering the build is almost identical to the 3 Max, which is eight months prior. Interesting. I can confirm that this one was... I don't know what run, if it was early or late, but I can confirm I didn't touch it for a while. So I, I'm just putting it together, right? Excuse me. All right, I have an idea. <laughs> I'm not sure if this will be great or good or not, but we're going to find out. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Simmer down now. There we go. Let's see if it'll focus on me. There you go. I think I'm going to build it right there. What do you think? Um, Case Schaefer, I am supposed to. Yes. I need to follow up with them. I believe I was. they're supposed to ship it at the end of last month or close to it or something like that. Um, I think mine was a pre-order and I had a heck of a time getting it bed leveled. Ooh, I have one. Yes, Ryan. I have all the parts. Much like every other project I have, it is not done. <laughs> so, I need to install the... Um, okay. I need to install, basically, this install the hot end. All the screws come in from the back. It looks like there's a like a strain release that goes on, or strain release, a strain relief that goes on, and it all just screws in from the rear. So it goes, yes. I can't wait to see you guys at uh, Rocky Mountain. I think Justin was on. I'm not sure if he's still here, but I'm super pumped to see everybody. I really am. So it looks like we have... One in, two in from the front, and four in from the rear, maybe? One, one, yeah. The short ones go in the front. All right, let's do this. I believe this goes in like this. You know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Goes like that. And there are screws that go here and here. And that's what we're going to do first. If I can get them together. Same. Hey, Justin. Oh, nice. Yeah, see? I thought Justin was here. Let's see if I get this lined up. Hey, got that side. Okay. One side down. Oops, not a physical end stop. Um... Who's Kit, how you doing, man? Long time, long time. If I could even see what I'm doing, that'd be great. There we go. There we go. Let me get that turned in. Get this one. This thing really is. It's a huge, it's a beast. Beast of a machine. Looks like there's three that go in from the back. And that's going to be a little tougher to see, but it's back here. <laughs> and this, you can see this thing's teetering. That's got to be... That's interesting. Hmm. That's odd. Shouldn't be teetering with this desk. I guess I need a new desk. <laughs> I was able to get both of my four maxes to level after letting the bed sit at 65C for 25 minutes and then level it. I added a G4 to the machine start G code in Orca to get the pr uh, printers to be reliable. 
Interesting. Mamadou, how you doing? Interesting. So, I mean, it sounds like there's some tricks to this bad boy. That's what I'm hearing. Um, so I see the three, see the three screws. It's a big one. Yes. Oh gosh. And I'm throwing stuff around. I was thinking about getting the T500 from Comgro, but I heard the quality control issues, although most of them look easy to fix. I don't have that one. I've seen it, but I don't have one. So I can't, I cannot speak to that. But I can speak to this doesn't want to go in the hole, which is odd. Should be lined up if the other two screws are in, right? Unless I'm trying to put it in the wrong hole. No comments out there. I'm going to release the front two just a little bit. Maybe if I could see the front two, that'd be even better. <laughs> this thing is so big trying to get you guys an okay shot. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Rear one is biting now. And now, mine works fine from doing exactly that. What was, uh, what was it? What did he say he did? I think I missed it. I'm going to get the strain relief on here very weird i should have just turned this so it was like front and back because it's such a weird angle weird angle here here we go boom boom i'm really excited for this thing i'm gonna print you know something large all right so good good Rear one. Oh, got it. G code to Orca is the key, huh? I might have to have you guys shoot me that. Okay, check and check. Oh, I gotta turn this so I can see it. On. Hot end is on. Boom. All right. Oh, got it. I was gonna say I didn't. I didn't see Mamadou say anything. Maybe I missed it. Uh, all right. Now we need to do the spool holder, which is this one, and it looks like I had that on backwards. So we'll, you know, spin it around. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, I didn't, because it sits like that. Got it. So that goes on, and then it looks like the filament detector, the runout sensor. I'm lowering this bad boy down. Maybe. Come on. Might as well, if we can, right? We might as well. Um, again, I can give you a better view of this here. It looks like it is a couple of floating T-nuts here, a couple of uh, screws that go down between, and they are 4 by 18. Here we go. Two pieces, 4 by 18. Heat expansion is more of a Z offset problem than a bed level problem, um, unless the bed has major inconsistencies when heated. But heat expansion is very small. I hope Kira 5X Slicer supports the Neptune 4 printer soon. Okay. Um, yeah. I dig. I dig. Or Orca's a good. Always a good bet. Let's get this bad boy on. Let's see. Am I close? Let's see. 
So there's there's like two uh, capture nuts inside here, and I just have to hit one, and I missed it. And I missed it, right? Of course. And I, oh, I wonder if I could use use the camera. Come on. Aha, got it. Nailed it. I don't know where I want this thing, though. Probably about right there. We're going right there. Almost right centered over the Elegoo logo, except for it's not centered, so I'm going to fix it because I know someone will be like, hey, it's not centered. Yeah, uh, Orca's pretty sick. It literally has so many features. Um, and if you need calibrations, they got you covered. Now we're going to take one M three by three and screw on the, um, filament runout sensor right here. Yeah. Jeff Cross. Yeah. Can you imagine how it's going to be to, to, to try to get the, um, Gigastorm leveled. It's going to be awesome. By awesome, I mean it could be crazy. Yeah, so guessing this is just going to sit in here like that. I'm not sure. So, yeah, guessing it goes just like that. Good. I've heard soaking the plate with, uh, I've heard that soaking the plate with the plate printing tip beforehand to 10 to 15 minutes, thermal expansion, your thoughts. I think uh, they were talking about, um, Jeff was talking about leaving it to temp for a while before, before he auto leveled and that seemed to help. Well, is this the wrong size? It certainly is. That is silly. Um, let's try this one. There we go. Hopefully. I'm putting this on correctly. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I can't tell. Let's look. Sorry, I joined late. No worries. No worries. Printer assembly. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. That's funny though. That that's actually a pretty funny uh, comment there. I don't think I have that on right. I think it needs to go the other way so it sits over here. Yep, yep, yep. 2019. That is that's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Uh, in the config file, I also change it so, to do only nine points instead of 31. Seems to work fine, but takes less time if you're heating for that long beforehand. Yeah, I could see that. Let me know if I'm doing this right. I can't tell. The instructions. Um, don't make this abundantly clear, but I feel like it should be out this way. So just in perspective of where this is going to be. Yeah, it's got to be out like that. Got to. And then this plugs in. Like so. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I feel like that's a better spot than way over here. Yeah. That's it. Good. Uh, no prediction requires such precise atom scale leveling to work. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. What's next? Um, it looks like cable clamp installation. When installing, you need to organize the cables and fold them together. Install to, oh, to fix them. I got it. Got it. 
So it wants me to run cables. So let me do this. I'm going to turn this thing back around in a second. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Close. So now we can run these up. I believe. I believe, I believe. This can go in here. Check. It looks like uh, this is going to be your hot end, and this is going to be our not labeled cable. <laughs> and let's go in here. Everybody's talking about being totally heated up and, and everything, and that is a good thing, right? Very, very good thing. Let's keep it heated up. Where's my picture? One plugs into there. I don't even have that. It's showing you to, like, clamp it in on there. I wonder if I need to install it first or something. I don't even see. Oh, cable clamps. Check. Don't forget those. I didn't see anywhere where it told me to install this yet. Cable clamp installation. That's probably because that's what we're doing right now. Duh. All right. How do you want to go on? Oh, no. Don't do it. So it's going to go on like that. Oh. <laughs> How about that? How about that? My wife will be so proud. All right. I see. I see. So this just gets um, one little screw. And it there's a little piece that sits in... Uh, one of the bolts, and then it just bolts down. And this is going to be our... Um, it looks like you have to clamp your cables in there first, and then bolt it down. And it'll be kind of bolted in there. There is a bracing, yes. We just haven't got there yet. We just we didn't get there yet. Yeah. Um, what I'm curious about... Where in the heck does this one go? It's got to plug in over here, I'm supposing. But I'm not exactly looking at this in the straight capacity. Here's one down here. One goes up there. That one runs through here. Let me see. Maybe it tells me where to plug them all in. Eventually, it does. Yeah, here's some stuff down there that gets plugged in. Yep, mm -hmm, great. <laughs> this is at the top of the cable. All right, we're, we're not there yet, but the cable clip is installed, so that, you know, that matters because it does. Here's my question. If I gotta actually clip this bad boy in, I'm gonna wait. Let's wait till we get there. Um, Andrew, what was that one? Got the three max, nice. Benjamin, I agree with you. Does it have a large tool drawer? I don't know. Let's. Uh, where am I at here? Let's see. The cable clip. You need to organize the cables, fold them together, and install and fix them it says okay so i'm assuming it has to be i mean I, I would assume it would be where the tape is here but i can't assume that because um it doesn't reach that you know so 
So we'll, oh, of course I dropped it. Ooh. Of course. So we're just going to go for uh, right above that maybe. We'll figure it out. I'm going to do it after I get um, the other stuff done here. Whew, that, that cable clip, great. Now it's telling us to put the braces in. So we're going to use uh, eight, or no, one, two, two pieces, four by eights. Let's find you. And then two pieces, four by 20s in the bottom. Whoa. Um, it might be. Oh, you know what? You're probably right. Thank you. Forgot about the fan. Thank you. All right. Cable bracing time. How do I show you this? I'm just going to do it. And we're going we're gonna to go for it. Cable braces. Somebody said it needed some bracing. We have bracing. I um, cannot condone you guys printing with your A1s. But I can't say I'm not still printing with my A1. If that says anything. I printed a lot with it. But I can't say we should do that or not. You know? Um... Is this Marlin or Clipper? I, to be fair, don't know yet. I think I would go with, I'm going with Clipper. But uh, Jeff could answer that probably better than I can. Currently, Clipper, that's what I thought. Full send, yeah. Full send, we're doing it. Uh, my A1 has been fine. But I can't tell you to print with yours because that would be irresponsible of me if something happened. I can tell you who has an A1 Mini. Ryan, how's that been printing? <laughs> All right, what we got here? Two little ones up top, two bottoms with a washer on the bottom. Cool. I don't know that there's a top and a bottom here, so... We're going for it. We're full send, right? Ah, uh, the bracing. Auxiliary fan for high speed, yes. I see that now. So this monster is going to sit way, way up there. All right, all right. You think so? No. That can't be right. Am I seeing things? Yeah, it does. So it screws in way up here from what I'm seeing. And then it braces to like somewhere. Oh, it goes backwards. That's because I'm a dummy. Duh. I was like, there's no way it's going forwards. That would be in the way. Okay, we'll start that there. And it wants a washer. Back in the front, thank you. I removed the auxiliary fan um, two weeks ago from the Plus. I've not noticed a difference in cooling. Interesting. That That's interesting, actually. Grab a longer one. Washer. Check. Install. Check. Interesting. I'm that that's a kind of an interesting uh, thought to people are removing it and not seeing too much of a difference. I mean, that's good, right? More cooling, the better. <laughs> Just like the reality. Yeah, absolutely. Just gonna knock this one out quick. Excuse me while I move this behemoth around right on top of my instructions. Ugh. They either gave me an extra screw or I have one from something that's the same size. Um, oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. Let me check it. Uh, those two are the same. That's the same. I know what it is. It's that um, 
bracket up here for the cable clip. Cool. What time do we got? Whoa, we're almost an hour in. I probably should get moving. <laughs> uh, we're talking about removing the fans. We're talking about, um, yeah, dual print printers. J Uncle Jesse breaking stuff. Ethan says the uh, fans are only good for like 500 and above. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, they say this thing is fast. Those of you out there that have it, what do you think? Is this thing a pretty fast monster? It moves pretty good. We are close. All right. Bracing in. Size of the print. I turn it off for some prints, but with big prints, I didn't want to take the chance and I turned it on and it's a loud fan. Whoa, really? Yeah, crazy. Zombie Hunter, thank you. Braces are in. Check. Uh, the fan goes on next. Speaking of the fan. So, how are we going to get a good shot of this? This is said fan. This thing is, I mean, pretty big. If I if I hold it, that's my hand. So this is a big piece of of uh, stuff, and I believe it mounts on something like that. If I remember, right, if I see this right, there's four. I think it sits right on the back here, like this, and mounts through. I'm guessing we use these uh, monster. Four by fifties, we do. Shakes your table. I generally don't print above two fifty. Uh oh, hmm? I just got checked this real quick. I think I'm crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, why? Why are you telling me this? Okay, good. This th uh, my my app said your doors are unlocked. I'm like, what? They're doing what? Um. So I just wanted to make sure my car doors were not unlocked. So four bolts, giant. Now fifty mil. What's everybody doing today? I, I really I really enjoy it fast. I enjoy the printer. Good. Shakes your table. Don't usually print above 250. I lowered the motor current on the 4Max as even the new firmware was too high, causing the printer to squeal. Oh, whoa. We got a squealer. Um, hey, guys. 4Max or Anycubic Cobra 2? I don't have an Anycubic Cobra 2, and I'm just putting this together, so I cannot comment on that. But they could. Um, a lot of people are saying, I'm almost done with the Proust MK3 bear build using leftover parts. Nice. Justin, that sounds cool. We're going to do a lot more of these. I uh, just got to get them rolling. I think I have a few more printers I need to get unboxed and hang out. Hang out. This one's kind of low attended. Of course, it is a Sunday afternoon, you know, so there's that. But, all right, there's four bolts back here. They are all four now tightened. Now wiring. That's pretty cool. Justin, yes. So I'm going to move this over and I'm just going to start plugging some stuff in. Um, this is not legible because I can't read it. It says filament run out. And this says filament run out. So I'm uh, assuming you guys go together. 
pretty easy. Just plug it in, right? And this one is going to be for the LED, apparently. Here's an LED, I guess. Check. This one is for the motor on this side. It does have dual motors. Obviously, dual lead screws, dual motors. And it is belt connected at the top, just in case you're taking score at home. All right. So then... That's right. This cable here is absolutely the fan cable. Like that. Looks like you can turn it off with a switch and on, which is great. This one is going to be our hot end cable, which we shall not go over the top of our gantry because that would not be great. <laughs> and there we go. We're clicked in. Good. Now I need to put that uh, strainer leaf up here. Probably about somewhere in here. Uh, it does not like that, but I want to make sure I'm at the top of the line here before I go ahead and crimp this in there, right? Let's see. Nice. Uh, James, I have no inside knowledge on that, but I would not bet against it. I mean, they, they know what everybody's looking for. They really do. Um, and it is not a smaller machine. So I, I have a feeling we'll see something bigger. I don't know when, but I'm, I'm just assuming. I don't like this. Why am I crimping cables like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that goes like that. This one's going to go in here. And then this is going to have to come back down so I can see. That's going to go up here. And it's going to sit in there nicely crimped or nicely squeezed in there. I hope that's okay. I mean, it's like... It's not wide enough to hold the whole cable. How do I show this? See if I can. So right here, here, you can kind of see you have to scrunch. You have to like crunch, crunch this cable in right here. It's hard to see there. Crunch that cable in to get it to go in there. Um, fold the cable over. Uh, I don't really like that. I don't really like that at all. I mean, yeah, you really have to like crunch it in there. And then it wants you to basically take a screw and tighten it in. And I'm going to put it in, but I'm not going to tighten it too tight. Uh, you know, enough where it's there, but not loose, but not like cr crimping everything because... I really am not a fan. That's one thing so far. The only thing I've about this build that I've not liked is having to jam these little wires and then crimp them in. No, I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan. So I wish they would. All, all they have to do is make the the connector wider so that so the cables fit, and then you know. That's it. <laughs> Just make it wider so the cables fit. I am not tightening that all the way down. And this one, I'm not even putting in there. Maybe I could slide it into that one. No, I can't. I'm not even going to try. I'm going to leave that open. Here, let me show you. So this little one, not doing it. This one's like squished and bent in there. I am, I'm not a fan of that. No pun intended without the fans, but Think everything else is in. Fans in. This is in. These are in. This is in. That's in. Oh. What are we thinking so far? Yeah. Zombie Hunter, you're probably right. Um, I'm going to turn this thing so it's like this so I can kind of see. So empty, 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 empty. All these little bags are empty. I am going to uh, put them in a bigger bag that came with it. 
just in case I need them. All this can go in here. I don't see any other steps. Special case. I better read this. Supplementary introduction, special case. The bottom side block has been adjusted before leaving the factory, but the pulley on the machine may come loose due to transportation. Okay. Uh, I think it's basically telling us to check the eccentric nuts, just, to, just so you know. I'm just reading that the last step over here, and it's basically saying, hey, don't forget to check your eccentric nuts, which is a smart thing to do. So, that's not bad. This belt. Oh, there's another one of these. Whatever these are, don't know. Is there another one? Something's mo something's making a lot of noise here. There is another one. What in the heck? What? I don't know if these are just for shipping or what. Jeff could maybe tell us what they are. Uh, or what they're not. I think they're just for shipping, maybe. Blocks from shipping, okay. Yeah, um, so far, I'm, I'm super pumped about this machine. Um, so, I've got four, looks like, shipping blocks. Very interesting. Um, check. I don't remember them telling me to take those out. So if you're watching, Elgu, please don't forget. I'm going to double check. But don't forget to, like, like a warning. Like, hey, you might have blocks under here. Because some people may not know what that is. It was clunking around in there pretty good. Um, Larger go, don't like too much belt tension on the Y. I was wondering. It kind of felt not super ten tight. But I won't go too much more. Okay, check. Now it's time to plug her in. Um, so I'm not sure what this giveaway SD card is. And yeah, so in the package here, I got an, an extra PTFE tube and an extra nozzle in here. And I cannot tell you, does this come with a point? Hey, Jeff. Does this come with a 0.4 nozzle on it? There's some self checks, all that stuff, circuit wiring. Um, let's see. 0.4. Okay, it is a 0.4. Interesting. I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want a giant, like, bigger nozzle on this, but that's just me. Uh, just so you know, SD card is up. I'm sorry. Yeah, SD card goes in upside down right here. I am going to get us a better view. Hopefully, this thing has batteries. Otherwise, I'll be grabbing another battery here. Um, there we go. Let's see. Bam. <laughs> I keep hitting that real quick. Before powering on, please sure to check the input voltage. Ooh. Thank you. Now I need to go find out where that is real quick. Um, input voltage. Where are you? Tell me it's underneath, huh? Well, let's see. I don't see it anywhere around the outsides. So I'd venture to take a guess that it's probably underneath, maybe. Here's this. Um, they sell them now. Nice. Just released a six. Nice. It's a free gift. Roger Brown. It's a free gift. SD. Oh, nice. By the gantry. Oh, I'm looking. Do I, uh, do I need to lift it up? Oh, I found it. Let me show you. Oh, because I care. Look at this. 
Oh, of course. Hang on. <laughs> I was wondering how long that battery is going to last. So it's way in here somewhere. And we are set for... I cannot see in there. Give me a second. Trusty flashlight. Of course, I can't see it anyway. Ugh. We are set for 230. So we need to go in, slide it over. Now we're still set for 230 because I missed it. Now we're good. So it's on, if you're looking at the machine, it's on your left side. Left side. Ooh, I didn't look at it yet, Ryan. But I just saw the, it was a video you sent me, but I didn't see it. I didn't open it. Okay. But where were we? Where were we? We were about to power this bad boy on soon. Um, I'm going to give you a better shot of the screen. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I'm going to go. I'm going to turn it like I had it and use an extension cord. Left side by the gantry. Other side. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I should text Brad and tell him you're live and we can heckle you. Do it. Do it. Oh, Mark, is that you? I'm assuming that's Mark. Just looking at the, the name real quick. Not important. Just goofing off. What, what else would you be doing? That's the question. What else would you be doing, Ryan? <laughs> Other than goofing off. Okay. Uh, I need a GoPro battery. This needs to stop happening. My, uh, my son, Tristan, decides decided that he knows how to unlock the lock on my desk now. And he likes to sit on the desk and raise himself all the way up and down. <laughs> it's hilarious, but I'm like, he's like way up here. And I'm like, no, 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 be careful. I'm a dad. I'm just like, no, you're going to fall. All right. Hopefully this one's charged. Otherwise, I know I had a bunch of them that were... Probably should check it before I good. 100 percent We're in business. I just want to make sure you guys get a good shot. So I have another, I got another little camera thing. And it's awesome, but it doesn't have HDMI out. And I don't want to USB it. So boom. Here we go. First. Here you go. That's for you guys. <laughs> nice. The bigger the bed, the more difficult to correctly tram. Yes. Um, the bigger, not always better. I don't think it's the size. It's how you use it. I think that's what they say. Here we go. Holy lights. Did not expect that. There is a light up, up here, if you can see me. We'll look up, up there. See that? Big LED light here. Not gonna lie, haven't seen anything on the screen yet. We're plugged in, we're plugged in. Maintenance video. What, what, what? Yeah, follow Jim's unboxing setup. Nice. Thank you. Is it normal to not have anything on the screen yet? That's the question. That is the question. I would go with no. We're going to find out, though. Maybe I'll unplug it and plug it back in. <laughs> we tried turning it off and back on again. <laughs> Should be right away. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. We will double-check connections. I'm going to open this. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> don't mind, don't mind me. I'm just going to drop it here. 
Okay. Nothing. Nothing. I got lights. No, I don't. I don't have lights anymore. I don't know if that's normal or not. Let's power it down. I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure it was at 115, but. Wrong plug. The plug's into the front. Oh, like a dummy. That explains everything. It's not a network. It's not. <laughs> it's not. You're telling me it's not the network cable? There we go. Thank you. See, that's the best part about live streams is that you see stuff like that, right? <laughs> Oops. You know, I was just trying to give it more power by shooting it through the, the Cat5 or whatever cable that connector that is. Uh, I jumped to, what, what are we drinking now? LaCroix. It's French. <laughs> what are you guys drinking at home? Tea, drinks, water? Let me know. I'm curious. What printers do you want to see coming up too? That's another one. Let me know. Let me know what you want to see. So we are plugged in. Uh, judging by the um, judging by the manual, there's a whole bunch of options. Uh, it should go through a self check thingamajigger. I probably should do the firmware update, but let's do this. Uh, vibration, blah blah blah. Um, I'm not sure what it's doing right now. Prepare, level, settings, print. Is there like a self-check we're supposed to go to? Settings, one click. I'm just following the instruction here. Settings, uh, one click self-check. That's what I'm supposed to do. Guinness, ooh, ooh. Language. I don't even see that on here. I wonder if this is a not, <laughs> different firmware. I don't even see the thing that they're saying. It says settings should be language. Sam, what's up? Highly recommended to update the firmware first. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, how long does it take? Maybe I'll have to jump and get it quick. <laughs> Let's see. Mate, well, I mean, they did give me another uh, SD card. So five minutes. What? Sam. We'll see you in like seven weeks, Sam. Something like that. I have this fancy, um, this fancy, it says giveaway SD card on it or SD card. I think we should see if the firmware will go on there. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's not the fake Sam Prentice. It's the real one guys. Just so you know, the real one is here. I just moved my computer around. Hopefully we don't blow it up. Plug in their SD card. In. All right. I want to see your reaction. Oh boy. Okay. I need to run and find this firmware real quick here. So somebody who's done this, is it just, um, Firmware. There we go. Is it just uh, unzipping, dropping it on the SD card, and plugging it in? What, real quick, while I'm uh, while we're doing this, I think I might have found it. LU Formax, 3D printer, um, download firmware. Click to download. 
slicing uh no that's not what i wanted hang on a service pack yep and the screen too do i need to <clears throat> do i need to plug into the screen then too yeah china's gonna be cool i wish i could come to that dang it um what is happening? Support. Download center. Neptune 4 Max. That's not what I want. I want... Am I crazy? Neptune formats. Okay, great. Firmware. What's on this bad boy? Should we go see? Just for the heck of it. Ah, oh, we got to take the screens out of the back. Okay. Ah, oh, no, it's all good. It's all good. I totally get it. Um, so we are on firmware version 12213. So we're way behind because there's a 12265, it looks like. So I'm downloading it now. I pushed your name, okay, good. Now I'm fine, what's up? That's the bad launch version. Okay, we're, we're going to fix that right away then. So... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I see. There's a button probably to upload. All right. I'm going to pop this out. Hopefully that's not running on the SD card because I just pulled it out. <laughs> Don't forget the screen update. Should I do the screen first or second? Oh, nice. That doesn't sound great. Um, I don't know what you guys are seeing, but there you go. I'm looking at another screen, not paying attention. Second on the on the screen. Okay, cool, cool. It's almost done downloading. Almost done. Okay. Guess I shouldn't close this whole window because I would lose all of y'all. All of y'all. Sam, good to see you. Uh, what about a month ago or whatever it was? Month, month and a half ago. For uh, Tripod's birthday, disassemble the screen. Got it. Okay. So, fix pack. All right, let me. Oh, here's. There's actual instructions, dudes. Whoa. Whoa. You must read them. Must. Don't not read them. Um, all right. Main control bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After all the updates, you need to perform the input shaping. Got it. Got it. Using the fix pack will automatically delete the contents in the task list. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I do need to use it. Uh, I do need to change the screen. Great. USB flash drive. Okay. Cool. And a TF card for the screen. Cool. Um, yep. Great. It. How to use the fix pack? Should I? Should I do the fix pack first? Whoa! 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 Hang on. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at, I need to look at you guys. Where are you guys at? There you go. There we go. Instructions are uh, in the file you're downloading, but copy one folder to the USB, copy to the other, to the root of the card. Do the, yep, have mine three days. Love it. Um, don't leave the SD card in the screen after updating. Got it. 
I did not do that. I had no issues. Jeff, it's saying I have to because I have such an early firmware. I don't know. Do I need to put um, the operation method has changed? So um, my question is, do I have to do it in steps? Like, can I put both of them on the uh, SD card? Um, you know what I mean? Can I put the, the, the fixed pack and the firmware on or just one at a time? What are you thinking? I did it in steps. All right. Fine. It's what it says to do. If I'm being fair, I mean, it says to do it in steps, but do I just like, what am I doing? Am I just dropping the whole folder on here? Create, uh, let's see, turn off the printer, remove the flash drive, copy the LU update directory folder in under six pack to the directory of the flash drive. Um, and check the contents of the folder shown below. Insert the USB, turn it on. How to see if it's done. I did the steps one at a time. One at a time. Fine. You guys are no fun. <laughs> um, I'm guessing I have to do all of the... Let me just look here. Oh, copy the folder under six pack check the contents of the folder okay so i can copy the whole folder i'm good with that cool <laughs> just just what i'm doing we're gonna copy you uh, interesting um real real interesting It's copying. One at a time. I better shut this bad boy down. Slowly but surely copying. Whoa. One at a time. Five minutes, they say. <laughs> I think I'm going to plug this bad boy in. Whisper sweet nothings into the USB slot. I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's almost done copying. I'm going to eject that one. And then I'm going to plug this one in and copy the firmware to it. Uh, I thought you were firmware guru. That's why I said five minutes. Funny. Funny. I've never done this before on this one. Sam now. He could be a firmware guru. He looks like the guru type, right? <laughs> um, eject. While this one is, I'm going to plug the other one in. And I'm going to go across here. I need to, I need to uh, set up a reader on my desk here. I moved, I added a computer and all that stuff. And so when I did that, the computer I'm using to stream right now is my old desk computer. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me see what I'm showing. Just so I can make sure. Boom, boom. Let's go here so y'all can see it as much as me. There we go. Now we cross our fingers, I think. While that's happening... I'm going to jump back into here and it says, how do you tell that it's done? Got it. It adds some files to the flash drive directory. Um, So I'm going to uh, do the update firmware to a flash drive. Make sure it's printed. Okay, cool. And just go back into here. Go here. Firmware pack. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go here. 
And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here. All right, it's pasting. Uh, yeah. Cocktail. <laughs> uh, yes. So I'm hoping it's working. I don't know what it's doing. System is currently starting. Please wait. As you can see there. Uh, I don't know if I can. We're going to try it in a second. Let me let me get this other SD card out here. I just got the firmware on another SD card already. Um, and that way we're saving a little bit of time. Skynet power increases. Well, I appreciate the, the heads up to do this. Um, I can't do anything currently. Oop. It's just, you know, give me a, please wait, please wait. Maybe. I don't know how long it usually takes, so. It says, um, please turn the, uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, great. Oops. Yeah. I don't think I need to do that. Um, for the fix pack. I don't need to do that for the fix pack. But it does say for the, um, for the next part, I need to pull this bad boy out. I need to put the, the USB drive in that I put the firmware on. So I just did that. Now I'm going to hit up and I'm going to hit confirm. And we're gonna we're gonna hope, right? That's what we're doing here. <laughs> we're going. Now, if I plug this in while well, that's doing that, I could check that directory, and also I can get the screen firmware on here. It's gonna be an efficient. Really, I'm trying to be efficient. I'm trying to get this going so we can see this thing move, right? All right, let's go in. I should see, it said I should see some extra uh, stuff. Let's see, it should say fix and fix something. All right. Yep. It, it should be. It says it's completed, it's restarting. Got it. Okay. So now. I'm assuming I can delete all of the. I'm assuming I can delete all the stuff off that other SD card now. Because I got the fix. The clipper succeeded. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to delete it. Go. Great. Now I'm going to go to downloads. Go back and grab the screen one. Screen firmware. TFT. Gotcha. I'm going to drop that on our... I'm going to drop that on the root of our SD that needs to go in the screen. Boom. Oh, yeah. We're rocking it now. I think we're I think we're in business once this thing boots. I just gotta pop sounds like I gotta pop the screen off. And pop this bad boy in there. Okay, yep, yep. Mainboard firmware. It's doing its stuff. Hey, okay, looks like it's done. 
screen. Copy the stuff to the touch screen. Great. Loosen it. Plugging it in uh, or restart the power supply. Oh, so technically I could just unplug the screen and then plug the screen back in. I like it. All right. Let's go check the uh, firmware version here. Here we go. About machine. 12265, which is great. Woohoo. We're good. Now we need to do the... Um, now it looks like we need to do the screen. So let me jump back here. Go here. Go back here. Boom. So, I mean, like... From what I understand, I could just pop this bad boy out, right? Take these screws out. I'm going to move this over here. I don't know if you care, but we're going to do this like this. Boom. Cool. I just put my stuff away, so let me grab those. Power off before the screen update. Oh, okay. It said that I could just unplug it. But if you guys are suggesting a power off, I'll do that. Yeah, the, the instructions here say... Oop, that was not what I meant to do. Close. Say... Um... Loosen the screws. After unplugging it, plug it into this. Oh, let's see. Copy the files to the TFT card. Loosen the screws. Put them in. After unplugging it, plug it back into the screen. Um, plug back into the screen or restart the power supply and wait for the firmware to be loaded. It'll be loading and completed, blah, blah, blah. After inserting the SD card, um, turn it off and on, and then remove. I don't know. I'm just reading what they have here. It doesn't say. It says after after unplugging it, plug it back into the screen or restart the power supply and wait for the firmware to be loaded. I don't know. I mean, to me, it kind of says you don't have to, but I don't want to. I don't want to like burn this thing up. It's, before I even print on it. So there's that. Right? Let's do this. What do you guys think? Power off or don't power off? Should I fly close to the sun or not? We're just doing, if you just joined, we're doing the Neptune 4 Max. Um, we are like an hour and 30 in, but we built it, we talked. <laughs> yeah, we're power off. Um, we're doing the firmware. Everybody's saying that has these. Do the firmware right now. Do not waste your time. We're doing the firmware right now. I'm going to power it off. Everybody's saying power it off. Okay, power it off. SD cards in my hand. Check. Power off. Definitely. <laughs> oh, no fun. Come on, live a little. Just joking. All right, we're in. This thing is not going to stay. I'm assuming I can just look at this. I don't have to plug it all back in. So I'm not going to. Um, we're just going to watch it and see what happens. So I'm going to power it on now. Twist an audio and go for it. I like. There you go. Okay, here we go. Let's see. It's doing the things. Here we go. You probably can't see that because it's really blown out. But there you go. Try to hold it for you. Here we go. I'm going to be, I think of what I'm going to do right away. Well, I'm going to do a first print. And then we're, like sometime now or today or someday, I'm going to, I'm going to print a monster on this. Not sure what it is yet, but we're doing it. When it, when it completes, turn off the printer, take the SD card out. 10-4. 10, 4. This is the good stuff, right? The the parts that we have to do, um, you know, for firmware upgrading and all that stuff. Um, 
it is Clipper. Is it possible to do this through, uh, I don't know, can I just go to like the web interface if I connected it or anything like that? Or how's it work? Oh, there we go. Update succeeded. Boom, here. Update succeeded. I'm not sure if it is or not, um, but it, is it not, you know, is it running like a real Clipper or is it running Elgu's version of Clipper, right? That's my question. Uh oh, man down. Ooh. So there you go. Interface is fluid. Okay. Fluid. I am terrible, I'm not going to lie, terrible with Clipper. I need to get better. Uh, I need to know more. I need to understand more. Um, I have that that rat rig that runs like rat OS version of Clipper. Need to understand that. Just type IP into the uh, computer after connecting it to Wi-Fi. Would be cool if you install, uh, you can install Clipper screen on the LCD. I think the UI is terrible and non-verbose. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Okay. We're in. We're going to do that. And then we're all going to see what the new version looks like. If I keep throwing stuff here. All right. Here we go. Bam. 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 Oh, that's a cool idea. I use my phone to go to the IP address off or, or on my computer. Good to know. Good to know. So here's here's the, what we can see. So I'm assuming we're going to have to go through all the all the things that we would have already gone through, but because we just reset everything, we're going to start over anyway, which is good because we didn't do it yet. Um, annoyingly annoying proprietary clipper. Sam, are you on that already? Come on, man. Let's get this thing opened up. <laughs> Calibration time. Calibration time. Come on. Won't you calibration time? Great. There's that now. All right. Well, while we're uh, while we're waiting for this, I'm going to get the calibration going. And then while we're doing that, I'm going to open the filament, get some filament opening. So let me grab that real quick. I imagine I'm going to have to do this whole calibration stuff. So I'll go to settings. I don't know. I still don't have what they had. It's supposed to be in here somewhere. I don't know. I mean, ooh, professional mode. I don't know what that means. So there's that. Input shaper, fan control, dryer, factory, machine settings. What do I do here? Like level it? Somebody? Somebody told me. I don't know. Just hit the level button or what? I should have to do like all the input shaping and stuff, right? Oh, set it to professional mode. Okay. I'm, I'm going for it. Professional mode it is. Yeah? Now what? Oh, final mesh. Uh, go to input shaping. Prepare. Is that under prepare? See, like if I was a new person, it doesn't it doesn't even tell like this doesn't help me. You know? Advanced input shaper. Click on uh, XY, blah blah blah. Well should I just click one first? Boom. There you go. Start detection. Sorry, I had a crappy, crappy uh, thing there. Okay. It's doing stuff. I'm going to go back here because it's doing stuff and it's huge. And if I turn it this way, it's going to be impossible. Actually, I could just move the screen over, huh? Yeah. So you guys can see what it's doing. I'll just move the screen. Probably shouldn't be doing this while it's doing it, but we're doing it anyway. Oh, or not. 
Hang on. Hang on. Wait. This thing is so big. I love it. Yeah, I got the screen over here so I can, I can just move the screen, right? I like it. I wish I had a magnet so I could go somewhere else with it, but I'm good with it. We're doing it. Cool. So right now the screen is just saying X, X, uh, axis vibration data. Don't touch blah, blah, blah. Probably shouldn't have done that, but we're doing it. What's up? 3d experiments. Velcro works great. Yeah. Good idea. Get ready for the earthquake. <laughs> While this is earthquaking, I'm going to move. I'm going to go get the, the filament. Wow, I got a lot of foam over here. So <clears throat> they did send me two rolls of filament. And it came like literally taped to the outside of the <laughs> of the other giant box. I don't know what it's doing right now. Showing me a clipper, a clipper uh, screen. Not, <laughs> I can't really reach around. That's amazing. I don't know if you guys want to see this, but let's see if I can make that happen. Oh, I can. I can. I can. Maybe. Dang it. I can't. I can't. I can't. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Maybe this way. I'm going to break something here, just trying to get you guys a decent shot. It's saying that. The thing is a humongous. That's what she said. Also, yes. So, this is doing... Um, I don't know what it says here. It says, MCU shut down timer... Too close. This often indicates the computer is overloaded. Check for other uh, processes, blah, blah, blah. Restart. Restart uh, Clipper. Repower the whole thing. Has happened to me too. Uh, power off. Okay, we're, we're shutting her down. This thing is a monster. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to get this on the other side so we can look at the screen easier because you guys said it's going to be like a, whoa, that was amazing. You guys said it's going to be like a earthquake, so that would be awesome. There we go. So anyways, I got this filament. I'm going to give this thing like 30 seconds. Um, it, it came, it came taped. There's so much tape on this. They taped it. To the outside of the box. Not a fan of that, but I appreciate the filament. Um, hope the spools are okay. We'll find out in a minute. I got to get in them, so there's that. There we go. Um, what is this supposed to be? Is this like special? I don't know. Powering back on. I uh, have a K1 Speedy, and this is running on the same six foot table. We'll knock. Out a water a glass of water, nice performance anxiety. <laughs> All right, we got black. It's rapid PLA plus. We got a black. Let me get this out of here. And this looks like the same. I'm guessing this is the same. It looks black filament to me. I like the performance anxiety. That was funny. So maybe maybe due to the firmware update, we're thinking. I am not a Clipper guru. I should probably just do a live stream to learn Clipper better. Like, have you guys, like, help? You know? It <laughs> oh, It is the same. That's sad. Both black. I'm getting rid of these boxes because they're crazy. But that this cardboard spool is beat up. Good thing it's not going in an AMS, huh? Because that this is all crushed. I don't know if you can see that right here. But 
we have two two packs of uh, Elgu Rapid PLA Plus. Thank you so much, Elgu, for shipping that over. Can't wait to get it running through. Um, I am currently going back to go to level. Oh, no, no, no. Settings. Uh, advanced Input Shaper X. Now let's see what it says. It... it it says the status is normal. Should I home the printer first, you think? I kind of feel like I should. Uh, prepare. Home. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Cardboard has too much friction. Hi there. Have a question. Uh, it's off topic. Let's see. If you know if there's an update for the board, the Mingda Rock 3. I can't find it anywhere on Mingda's website. I'm not sure. I don't know that answer. Let's see. Home. Did it. Done. I think. Okay. Homed. Settings. Advanced. Input shaper. I still don't have the setting that they wanted me to do. Um, just for the record. I just want to throw that out there real quick. Here, let's do this let me get a i just want to see what it's let's see what it's telling us start detection right start i don't know oh it's moving i wanted to watch the screen for a second and see if it did anything crazy again this thing is a monster okay don't touch it might, maybe it was uh, just the firmware. Maybe it was just mad because I, um, holy fans. The fans are on. Here. Imagine you guys can already hear it, but listen. I wonder if I could turn the fans off for this, huh? Yeah, they're serious. It's doing its thing. <laughs> it's in my basement. I hear it upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, the things, it's so funny. It's like, it's like cell phones got real small for a while and then they got big again. Um, and, uh, what am I thinking? Oh, cell phones got real small for a while, and then they started getting a little bit bigger, right? Um, these, you know, printers, they're getting, you know, they got smaller. I guess they are always kind of small, but they're getting bigger, but they got quiet for a while is where I was going. And Gemma screwdriver in there. Um, they got quiet, quiet for a while, and now they're getting louder again. And it's so funny because for a long time, you know, you remember when the silent drivers came out, everybody's like, wow, it is so quiet. I can't believe this Ender 3 can be this quiet with this new board and all that, right? And now, like, these things are, it sounds like a jet taking off, right? And uh, people are like, cool, this thing is huge. That's all that matters. Like, they don't care about the sound anymore, right? It's it's interesting. Um, I'm going to do, why is it so hard to set up? It's not. It's really not that hard to set up. Um, we did take extra time the last little while here to update the firmware. So the firmware had a, uh, some sort of fix. Um, and then also had a firmware on the board and a firmware on the screen. So we did all three of those easily found those on the website. There's instructions. Instructions are pretty good. The only instructions so far that haven't been good for one, didn't tell us to remove those shipping locks, but for two, or shipping blocks, I should say. But there's a, a thing on here. Um, let's see. Self-function, right? And while this is doing its thing, I can't tell what it's doing. Oh. Oh, it's done. Okay. Return. Now we'll go to Y. Okay. And we'll say start. Um, so here. So on here, 
it shows me this this calibration here right here and it shows that it does like this whole self check stuff and that that doesn't exist this doesn't exist so it should do like a whole thing for you but it does not exist and there's that all right brace yourself here we go oh yeah we're moving Um, I think a lot of people have, <laughs> this thing's awesome. I think there's a lot of different, someone asked me what my favorite 3d printer is. Okay. Uh, I would say this, why is this shooter look so high from the bed? I don't know. Um, <laughs> 2209s are super quiet. Yeah. Uh, the, the best 3d printer is the one that you use to print stuff on very controversial i know <laughs> it is whatever you want to use it's the best one right if you have it in front of you and you're using it as a tool in your in your arsenal um a, a printer to print the stuff that's the best one because you have it and you're using it my favorite my best one might not be your favorite it might not be uh nerd extremes favorite either um you know I think um, I don't know the answer to that, Mama. Do to be fair. Um, anyways, um, I think you know, like someone says, bamboo labs. Bamboo lab is not the best. It you know, it doesn't matter to me. Just pick one and use it. It could be the Elgu. It could be any other brand out there. It doesn't. What matters is that you're using it to do what you want to do and you're having fun with it. Um, all these people who are fighting back and forth between uh, the wood brand and the orange brand and whatever, all this garbage just needs to stop. As long as you have a printer and you're having fun, who cares what you're printing with? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to throw it out there. If you ask me, I have many Bamboo Lab printers, many of them. And I love them. Why do I love them? Because they're so freaking easy. <laughs> and they just, 95% of the time, they just work. The parts are cheap. They have a great ecosystem. But you can say that thing about Team Orange too, right? Great printers. They just work. The parts are there. The ecosystem's there. Um, this one, I can't tell. We haven't done anything yet. I So far, the build was easy if we, you know, we were blabbing this a long time. Uh, update the firmware, as everybody says. See what happens. I'm super pumped to print something huge on this. Um, but it's all about what you want. Like, you want something fast? Great. You want something closed? Great. What's your budget? You know, can you afford a Bamboo Lab, you know, printer, an A1 Mini or something? Can you afford something like this? Or do you need to start with the new Ender 3 variant for $200 that's out? Which I tell you, is a solid printer, too. So it really, really, it's up to you. Um, you know, if you're compensating for something, you could go with Sam Prentice's uh, answer with the Prusa XL. Um, so there's that. But um, <laughs> no, but really, I mean, like, I really think that um, it's really about what you use, what you can afford, all that stuff. Where do you want to do? Do you want to just pull it out of the box and print? Or do you want to put a put a project together, build a printer, right? There's all of those different things. And um, a lot of people are answering because they aren't clever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, print another printer that you can 100 times. This thing would print another printer easily, right? Um, but the thing is, uh, whatever you use, it's going to matter. I mean, that, that's all thats all that matters is what I'm trying to say. I don't care. Oh, this is done. So, all right. I just did that. Now, what do you guys want me to do next? Uh, do the bed leveling, probably? I'll go back. Level is bad boy. Confirm it. I'm going for it. I'm just doing what... I'm doing the screen. I'm not doing this heating up for 20 minutes thing because I'm just doing what the screen's telling us to do here. 
And I probably should have put the bet on straight, but we're good. Um, yeah. So, I mean, like, really, it depends on your budget, what you're looking for, all that stuff. But in, in the end of the day, the best printer is the one you're using. That's it. <laughs> Hopefully, that doesn't sound crazy, but this thing's loud as heck, too. Uh, Sam Prentice, five heads is nice, I bet. Uh, but it's money. Absolutely. If I wanted to drop five grand, it would be amazing to have that printer. I'm, I'm seeing some awesome stuff come out of the five head uh, Prooch XL. I just don't have $5,000 to throw at it, right? Here's the fun part. <laughs> oh, great. Um, Ender 3 was good until it's an endless repair project, right? So um just so let's circle back and we'll come back to that that's a good point but real quick we're checking out the elgu 4 max this thing is built it's ready to go we've updated the firmware we're upgraded a, like a hot fix kind of thing and the screen firmware we're checking it out um it's doing something i don't know here we'll do this real quick so you guys can see what it's doing you don't think it's asking me for input i think it's heating the bed up but I'm not sure. I don't know. What does it want me to do? Um, you have to set the Z offset. Oh, how about I find that here? There's this really cool page right in front of me that says auto leveling. Dummy. Read it. Okay. Let's see. After completing the auxiliary, enter the... Okay. Got it. So let me go back here. Voltage. Um, hop edge, slide block wobbles. Okay. You need to level it with a paper the first time. Got it. Right here. Let's do this. Um, but yeah, I don't want to forget to, to go back. But um, someone said, you know, it was a project. And all that stuff. I, we're we're going to talk about that. So I need to set the Z offset, I believe, with the little uh, sliders there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Weird. Okay, great. Um, auxiliary. I'm going to go around the front, and I'm going to do this. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to go around the front here. And there we go. So it looks like we need to set a, a, a Z offset here. So we're way off so far. Oh, cancel. Oh, it grabbed it. little friction, no more, too much, in my opinion. Eh, we'll call that good. We can dial it in a little better later, I think. I'm at negative 0.7, so you guys can see. There we go. Um, so there's that i might go down one more click yeah i like that two is two is pretty squishy okay now what uh i'm guessing i have to do the exalt auxiliary one right click on auxiliary leveling check confirm go so now it's it should go to one i believe And I'm a big fan of keeping your uh, paper underneath in case it drags. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, it's homing right now. Okay. Good. We're homing. Homey. So I'm going to go to one on the screen. And I'm going to, I'm going to dial this thing in with a uh, set. Whoa, there's wheels. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't seen wheels in a while. We 
going for it. Okay, great. Oh, we're not going around. We're going around in this circle. Yeah, got it. Looks like there's wheels all the way around here, which is cool and interesting at the same time. Oh. Maybe. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so while I'm doing this, we were talking about you know, what you're looking to do, right? There's a lot of people in the Ender 3 world that were just ready to, to stop, stop messing around, stop doing all the things, and just print. And uh, that's why, in my opinion, Bamboo Lab came around right at the perfect time. You know, there was a lot of people that were ready to spend a little extra money because they had their Ender 3s or several Ender 3s and get something that was faster, a little bigger as far as build size goes. And also, it just just print printed, right? And I really think that that's why they did so good so fast is that there's a whole contingent of people that was just ready, ready for that. And they got it, you know? I know I'm going to go around again, so, yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know this is going to change now. I'm, I'm just going in order of their order. I usually would go the other way around, but it really doesn't matter. Ooh, see, now we're super tight. Good. This is the best part, right? Just, you know. Um, someone says you won't learn with bamboo. Where's that J1, right? Um, what if I don't want to learn? Why does it matter? What if I just what if I just want to plug in a, a, a printer um, and have it print me something? Um, I equate that to a microwave, okay? This is just my thought, right? This is my, my theory. But what if I don't care how a microwave works? I want it to heat up my food. I want to send food inside of it or put food inside of it and have it cook it. I don't care how it works. I don't care to tear it apart, any of that stuff, right? I just want to cook my food. Oh. I think that that's kind of what I'm trying to say. There's a whole contingent of people that just wants to have fun printing and they don't necessarily need to learn or, or want to. They just want to print. And that is totally okay. I mean, really. It, it needs to be okay because just like any other machine, your wash machine, I don't care how it works. It turns and washes my clothes. I put clothes in it. I hit a button and it does it, right? Um, I get what you're saying, Eve Prince. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how to say it. Hopefully I didn't murder that. But, uh, but the, the good part about Bamboo Lab is it shows up as a QR code and you scan it and it teaches you how to fix it most of the time. So then I have to learn, right? I have to learn how to change my cutter. I have to learn how to change my wiper. I have to learn um, how to tighten my belts. All those things are, pro are necessary, but, and you know, the thing is, um, I don't want to know how the microwave works. Like I said, I just want it to work. I want my food to be done and that's it. So I think, you know, and then, and then there's, the, I think for those type of people, remember, I'm just talking specifically and yeah, we're pretty close here. Okay. 
Oh, let's see. Make sure to complete this when you're done. I, I think we're pretty close here. So I'm going to go back. Oh. Auxiliary is completed. There we go. Sorry, guys. Um, confirm to auto level immediately. Press cancel. We'll clear the previous. Okay. I'm going to confirm. Confirm. Now I'm going to go back to the other side here. All right. Where were we? Bam. Let's let this thing do its thing. I believe it's going to auto level now. That looks like it. So, uh, yeah, when you stumble this, you be left for ages without knowing how to fix it. That's not, like I said, not true. You can, a lot of times you can find, they have a very big troubleshooting database. Um, I can feel both sides. As a modder, I feel under three crowd, including me and the bamboo. Um, the, but the bamboo is a machine with no personality, just prints. There you go. If you like to mod, there are brands for that. Absolutely. It prints quick fixes. Ultimately, you still have a choice that isn't being taken away from you. Amen. You can choose. That's what I like. Um, my, if, you want to do, uh, if you want to do a project, get a rat rig or, or a Voron or something like that, right? Build it. It is going to be amazing. You're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to probably cry. You're going to be upset. <laughs> You're going to hurt yourself or whatever, right? But it's yours. You're going to do that project. And um, I think there's a huge world for that still. Um, and and if, if someone chooses that they don't want to do that, they just want to pop it out of the box and print, that's their choice too. I love it. And, and it's as Sam said, it's a choice, right? It doesn't matter what you're using. It doesn't matter if you started off building it or, or no, it's called tramming, not leveling, whatever all that stuff is, what matters is that you're using it to me. That's my opinion, right? Um, I, I agree with Jeff. I had some ender threes, ender five. I had a bunch of, a whole ton of crowdy stuff in the very, when I started this, started with an ender three and I loved learning. I loved doing that stuff. That's how I started this channel. Um, but I know that there's a huge crowd right now that doesn't want to do that. You know, the times of rep rap and all that stuff. Um, there's, there's a big shift the other way just to have a, a machine that works in prints and that's fine. Let them do it. Right. Um, offset. Sometimes it's the hobby that you're building, not what you're printing on. A Amen. Um, ETH prints. Yeah, there you go. I mean, and, and the thing is we can all agree and even if you disagree, we could agree to disagree, right? That's the best part. Like, it's not this against that and all this stuff. You want to buy one of these? Do it. Use it as your tool to print what you need. You want to buy one of the other ones? Great. You want to go all baller and get the XL with five heads? Talk to Sam, right? Uh, <laughs> not bitter at all. Um, but do you? Whatever you want to do. That XL has stuff you have to build on it. and. You know, it is what it is. You have to learn a little more about that machine to make it work, in my opinion, than you do some of the other ones. You can pop it out of the box. Sam can confirm that. I think Offset has a single tool head one, right? I don't know what it's doing here. I think it's heating. Yeah. Um, nice. A Voron uh, V0.2. That's going to be awesome. James Gibson, my journey so far has been an Ender 3, Sobel SVO6, both good printers, now a P1S. Uh, next will be a Voron, my coworker joke. Hey, that's awesome. And a lot of us went that same route, right? Uh, the P P1S, solid printer 2, SVO6. When that came out, best beginner printer you could get. I, I love that thing. Ender 3, same thing. Had a lot of quirks, but was was awesome. Um, Prusia's fallen behind. I... It's hard to justify the price on that um, to me. I know a lot of people do. I know they're great machines and people love them. So like I said, whatever you want to print with, right? Um, Boothy builds, awesome to hear. Three Vorons would go to my X1 all the time. Uh, ETH prints, probably. Um, ooh, 2.4 revision C on the way. That's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, I, I, you know what? Their support's great. Um, the reliability is real good. I mean, that's the thing. The companies that are <clears throat> going to be the best are the companies that are 
taking care of us, right? All of us. <laughs> I'm going to take 20 minutes to uh, uh, <laughs> heat this thing up, it looks like. Um, I don't think they're going to. Um, 3D experiments. I don't think they're gonna like try to respond to bamboo. That's not their thing. Prusha doesn't worry about that stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I know people with the MK4 and they love it. I personally could not spend the money on an MK4 when I will gladly use my A1 with an AMS and get like two of them or three of them, right? Um, <laughs> that's gonna be a that's gonna be a controversy. He said to use the A one. It's broken. It's not broken. Some of them, a couple of them, or however many was it one percent or something less than one percent. But um, <laughs> ain't it a six? Whoa, whoa! Now that's a fire hazard. There. Well, you probably got the. Big tree tech, so maybe not so much fire hazard anymore. Uh, re revision two, not C. Okay. Uh, what tightness on the knobs did you use before you leveled? Um, just tight enough to my feeling. So when I do leveling with knobs, man, this thing does take for a minute. Um, let's see. You know, I like to... I'm using this paper they told me to use is what I'm doing, but... Um, you basically, I like to go down until I start feeling the friction and then go a little bit further. So when I push it, my paper doesn't bend like this, but I can still slide it in and out. If that makes sense. If it's doing this, it's, it's too, too close to the bed. I mean, that's too tight. So I like to be, I like to feel the friction, but I like it not to bend like that. I hope that helps. Um, <laughs> listen it's a solid printer i have one i'm don't tell anyone i'm still printing with it i don't condone anyone else printing on theirs but mine is still printing just fine um yeah mk4 after prusa mini loves them both yeah wow prusa resin setup is sick that, it's that's an expensive journey but i heard it's pretty awesome it's a lot of a plate to heat up absolutely um Sam is saying, so right now I'm only using Prusa printers to see if I miss going back the other way. <laughs> All right. That's one way to do it. Yeah, every company has an upside and downside. There's not a perfect company. Absolutely. Again, it boils down to what you like. You know, that's it. Let's see. It all, yeah, all boils down to what you like and with a tool you need, you know. You might not need this to do your projects. 90% of the time, I am never going to use this size, right? But it's awesome to have. <laughs> uh, I did walk through the auxiliary, they called it, auxiliary leveling, and I tightened or loosened each one. I went around two times. Uh, yeah. 3D experiments. Hi. What did I miss? Not much. We're getting her going. I meant you miss everything. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's doing. I think it's still... It says, heating, please wait. On a, We're on 60, 60 on the bed, 140 on the nozzle right now. 60, so it should be any second because it says it's just trying to get to 60. Uh, here you go. Let's see if you can see this. Um, there you go. Loading. So now it's going to do its thing. So someone said uh, 460 or larger for droid builders. Yeah, if you're going to do a, a if you're going to do an R2 or something, you need um, a pretty large bed for your dome, unless you want to do it in chunk like pieces. But I know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it? Um, is it 465 for the dome? Sam, Sam will know this. He has a few R2s, right? Oh, 455, right around there. Okay. So this will not do a dome, a full dome, but, you know, it'd be close. <laughs> I 
I need a ship. Yeah, yeah. It's huge. This thing is a monster. We're doing some things now. It's leveling currently. Um, let's see. Oh, I called you, uh, caught you live. I just want to say how much I enjoy your videos and helpful they are to a new 3D printer enthusiast. Awesome, man. Um, much appreciated. Uh, hey, I appreciate that. Thank you for watching. I'm glad that this stuff helps. I don't have a Neptune 3 Plus. No, I don't. Uh, I wish, <laughs> wish my orange printers had the same slicer online services as my green printers. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Droid domes come in one piece is the best option. You'll get smoother around a surface. Um, yeah. My 500 by rat rig is sitting over here. That'll do a dome. Right. Uh, also, if I get the Giga, right, the Orange Storm Giga, that'll do. That'll do a dome. I could. I think. I don't know this, but could you print the whole body on that being a thousand tall? Somebody, uh, maybe Sam knows the answer to that, or or it looks like ETH, ETH prints. I think, maybe. Um, Who makes a full size R2 that we can buy to print? Uh, again, Sam knows a lot of the makers of the files, and he could probably tell you one of the best ones are on that. Uh, 465 for the R5 dome. Nice. Thank you so much, TK. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Um, Music Dad, what's up? Long time no see. Um, yeah, at a thousand tall, could that orange storm giga print literally a, a whole like body? I mean, it will print the whole body. I'm assuming that'll be easy. Um, uh, will it? I mean, then I get yeah. If it prints the whole body, that's it. I mean, that's that's what you need to do. Brian Vines, psh, that guy. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him to it. Dang it. All right, what is it yelling at me here? Uh, I'm not paying attention. It's saying, pay attention to the distance between the nozzle and the bed and the thickness of a... Uh, let's see. About the thickness of an A5 paper can be can be adjusted by Z offset. All right, cool. Thanks. Well, this back corner over here is rough, or whatever point that is. So it showed me all of these things, and it gave me some guidance. Let's see. There we go. All the points are down here. Ooh, right there. A 500 will do the body. Oh, nice. It's now having you do another Z offset without the skirt. Okay. Let's go around here. I need to see this. We're going to print on this thing before we go. Okay. Confirm. All right. Great. So I do another Z offset just to check it without the skirt. Got it. Badly's files are sick. Yes. Whoa. That's not good. All right. So I was showing this earlier here. I was talking about how how much I like it, right? <laughs> if I that's probably a little bit tight. Let's see. But it's not. That's actually not too bad. If I go one more, it's getting pretty tight. See that now? I'm gonna stick with right there. Okay. I can get it back under there if I need to. I should have good squish, and I can adjust it, right? Um, where do I hit the confirm button or save button? Someone said, oh, up here. Boom. Save and restart to apply. I'm going for it, right? Oh, 
I don't want this to crash. Don't crash. Cool. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have not seen Mr. Badly, uh, Badly, Badly, I don't know. Anyways, Michael, uh, his stuff, his Patreon is a, it's freaking amazing if you love droids. Freaking amazing. Okay. So we know that here. Let me unlock this. I'll bring it down a little. Let's get this thing loaded and see what's on the card. I'll just do this for a minute so you can see. Make sure to use bed mesh profile equals 11 on G code. Uh, what? Do I need to do that? Like, is that a thing I need to do right now? Or I'm just going to print something from the card right now. Um, nice. <laughs> XYZ or Benchy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so somebody said I need to put some something in the G code. I'm guessing that's a thing. Oh, later. Someone, can you, I don't know if that's a thing. If that's a thing that I need to do, can someone ch either chat me on the socials or shoot me an email? Because I'm not going to remember that. My um, My wife and the little guy are waiting for me. It's a beautiful day here in Wisconsin. I believe it's like 61 degrees currently, which is great. All right. Um, Full-size mini gym. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. So we got filament loaded. It should be good. Is there a load? Uh, let's go back to here. Is there a load filament thingamajigger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh. Okay. So do you see what happened there? It told me it wasn't hot enough. It needs to heat up the hot end and go for it. <clears throat> you don't have to, but it won't use the mesh. Oh, I gotcha. Gotcha. I am never going to remember what I should take a picture of what you said because I'm not going to remember that. Let's see. Hopefully it's maybe if somebody has a good profile for this that you already use in uh, Orca, shoot me an email. Jim at the edge of tech .com. Uh, Indiana, James Gibson. Hey, how are you? Um, so it's doing a thing. <laughs> and I'm really close to the bed here. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit here. Let's go up. Uh, what what's happening here? There we go. Nope. Don't know what it's doing. There we go. And see what's going on. All right. I'm hitting the load button. I want to make sure we're good. As you can see, it's puking out white right now. Yeah. If anybody has a good profile, it looks like Jeff might be my guy, or, or uh, there's a couple people out there. Uh, if you have a good profile, shoot it over. I'd love to check it out. If you're already doing it, that's also known as cheating because I just asked somebody for a profile, right? No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Print. Let's see what's on this bad boy. <clears throat> uh, there's a Buddha, the Buddha G code models. There we go. The Buddha, the nutshell tool holder, a 3D Benchy. I mean, we got to do it. 26 minutes. Woofta. Is that after the heat up? 
<laughs> not funny. Not funny. I mean, we have to do a Benji because, you know, we do. And it's only 26 minutes. I'll print something large when we're not all here. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. Is the weather... Ha, uh, funny, funny. Cheesy joke there. Cheesy joke. Print the user manual. I love that. Only profiles are for the dating site. That doesn't help any nice. You didn't open your special gift USB. Oh, I should. That is 26 minutes is fast for such a big... Uh, yeah, I need to open the special gift. Uh, do I just plug it in and open it? Is that what happens here? Because when I plugged this into the computer, I didn't see anything on the card. So there's that. Maybe uh, maybe it's, you know, just empty. <laughs> it's a special gift. It's just emptiness in your heart. There we go. Uh, let's see. It is going. So that's cool. It shows you the picture. Tells you I can use the LED like that or an observation light. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. Looks like there's a little light somewhere else underneath, under here. That's cool. You can turn those on and off. Um, there's settings I can play with. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. Boom. There we go. Get a solid look at what it's showing me there. So it looks like it's trying to heat the bed to 60 again. Yeah, it's an empty. Yeah, that's what I thought I saw. Thank you. Thank you. It was an empty USB drive that says free gift. Or no, it says giveaway. It was a giveaway USB or a micro SD. I bet you they do it so you can do maybe uh, they give that to you so you can do the screen firmware. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, I do like the coiled cable um on the monitor i do i'm not a fan of squishing the one that's back here there's a mount back here and you have to fold your cable over i don't like that i do not like that um let's see 72 in atlanta nice So this thing's rocking. I'm going to let um, Lindsay know that we are still here. I mean, she knows I'm still here, but yeah. Good. Hello, Brian Vines. We were just talking about you. Let's see. This is doing its thing. I'm going to raise this back up to normal level here. There we go. Now you can. Now you can see it a little better. Um. I don't know what it's trying to do here. I can't see. Looks like it's printing a, a line of some sort. It is. It, all right, here we go. I can't see Jack. I don't know who Jack is. Oh, geez. No cancel. Does that help us? Helps a little. A little. Let's see. I, I don't know if I can get you guys even a better shot of what's happening because it's not really great. It's real, it's the real Sun Printus. Here we go. We're rocking. Uh, we were just talking about you and and potentially, we were talking about building an R two D two, um, on a giant printer and. Somebody said, Brian might do that. I said, whoa, whoa. Not if I do it first, sucker. No. <laughs> yeah, we'll go here. Um, 
Yes, always in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely passed Sam's bedtime. Yeah. Uh, is it safe to run the 2.1 motherboard without a MOSFET? Oh, you're talking about the CR to NS5, maybe? Um, does it come with a camera? Not that I know of. I don't think so. Maybe. Anybody can answer that? I don't know. Um, Sam got you some files. Nice. I don't think it comes with a camera. There we go. You should have one on the S5. Good. Uh, if you're going to do a giant R, we need to do it on that orange thingy, what it's called. The orange gigastorm. Yes. Uh, James Gibson, are you coming to – you're in Indiana, I think you said. Are you going to go to Murph end of June in uh, Goshen, Indiana? We all meet up for something called Murph, Midwest Rep Rep Festival. Uh, before that, though, the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival is going on uh, over the weekend of April 20th. Um, super fun event. It's going to be huge. I believe it will be the biggest – uh, Rep Rep Festival. They have a, it's just a massive amount of room. They have two giant rooms and it's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, yours truly gets to be the MC. They're giving me a microphone. So yeah. 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 Hot mix. Let's do it. Sam, you in? Let's start tomorrow. <laughs> Get her fired up. Let's do this. Can't wait till Murph. Yeah, Murph is. I, me too, man. I it was fun meeting you there. Uh, what last year, I think. Amongst other times, but yeah. And this thing's rocking. Whew, we're definitely moving. Let's see. It says we are eleven percent done. Twelve percent done with twenty-seven minutes left. Oh, you know what? I didn't turn on the giant fans. Hang on. Woo. Woo now we're now we're blowing up. Here. Here you go. <laughs> that is sick. Yeah, it's definitely loud. I'm down. I will do. Uh, I'll, I will do the editing and streaming. <laughs> nice. Ed C's down. <laughs> I, I'd be happy to come on, but but say I'm not happy. <laughs> nice. Oh, what's my opinion on glass beds versus PEI magnetic beds? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have one. I like my flex plates myself. Um, I have glass beds for other machines, but um, I like my flex plates. Yeah, that thing's a, that thing's loud. Holy moly! It's rocking though. It is rocking. I'm glad I'm wearing pants. Me too. Me too. Is that much cooling really needed? Probably not. I could turn it off with the Benchy. Yeah. Here, let's do it. Off. We'll turn it off and see if it changes layers now. Where were we? We're about right there. Oh, it came loose. It came loose. We have a man down. Should we see, should we see what happens? No, I won't. I can't let a spaghetti on me. I know what happened. Anybody else know what happened? Oh no, not the Benji. Get out of there. Can anybody else tell me what I think I think I did wrong? Real quick before I say it. I forgot to drop the anchor. Absolutely. Was it the fan? Maybe. Ooh. Bam. 3D printing. A 3D and T printing. I didn't clean the bed from the factory. 
I was in a hurry. We did all the other things, and I had it sitting right here, ready to go, and I didn't clean the bed. No, rookie, rookie mistake, right? You might use two gallons of uh, IPA to clean this bed. Quick, do it again before it gets too cold. Oops. Go, 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 go. I'll check the... Yeah, it might have been a little high, too. I'll show you this here. Yeah, rookie mistake. Here. Here. Can you see that? It's kind of hard to see in the black, but kind of high. Not not exactly a great squish. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, definitely a Wookiee mistake, Brian Vines. Hey, Brian, <clears throat> guess what? This is for you. Boom. <laughs> Need to open it still. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I can. I want to do it on a stream. I'm going to do it. Maybe we'll do it. Let's do it tomorrow night during hot makes time. Should we do that? Ooh, nice. If you're not subscribed to Brian Vines, go. Go subscribe now. Do it. Homework. <laughs> Get yourself 100 new subscribers. Well, maybe not 100, but that's insane. Yes, yes, it is. Um... <laughs> we are waiting for this thing to heat back up. It dropped down to under 50. C. So it's trying to get back up to 60 C again on the bed before it prints again. Man, this takes a minute, but that's okay. It's a giant bed. So what are you going to do? <laughs> nice. He banned me. Nice. <laughs> Funny. I'm going to drop when it goes. I think I can drop the, I'm hoping I can drop it, right? Um, we can address, someone said they would go down, what, 0.2 or something? I'm going to drop it like it's hot, yeah. I don't know if, I, I can't do that right now, I don't think. I mean, it gives me the option to do it right now. Oh, you can't see that because I'm not showing you. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. I mean, it's there. I could. I don't know if it'll do it. <laughs> Let's see. That's funny. Absolutely funny. Yes. Brian Vines is the man. All right. What's the consensus? If I drop the Z now, <laughs> pretty close to that, Sam. Yes. I think it's like 410. I don't remember. No, I, I can't remember. It, it's huge. It's what? 800 by 800 by 1,000 is what they call it. We're doing this now. 0 0.07 something. Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it during the print. I'm not gonna do it now. I'm not gonna okay, here we go. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it right now. It won't let me. Just gonna throw it out there. It wouldn't let me. Oh, it did let me. Oh geez. It's just slow to react. I hope it raises. <laughs> 
Oh man, there we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can't. That's the worst part is I can't see the. Cannot see it. Worst part. Here goes the fans. Eh, we're gonna go for, go with it and see what happens. I dropped it like point one of a millimeter, so. See what happens. That's the one. Yeah. yeah, Brian, it's going to be interesting for sure. Scrape it like it's hot. Yeah. Need a big push. Yeah. The printer is, yeah, and that's not even the big fan. The big fan's not even on right now. I'm not turning that on right now because I don't want it to release again. But don't worry, I can't see it from any angle. So we'll see. I'm going to click your retractions, right? Turbine to full speed. Doo -doo -doo. Here. That's what it looks like from above. Dun, dun, dun. Um, nice. Atomic to <laughs> Atomic battery to power. Um, I don't have the big fan on right now, I don't think. I don't. We're going to see if this sticks. I wiped the bed down, and my fan keeps thinking that the fan is going to knock off the prints. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Or in my brain, yeah. It does kind of look like that. It's not on right now, though. The big one's not on. The printer's a big fan of my channel. That's, the, that's actually the biggest fan I have, actually, on, on a printer. This one. <laughs> that's funny. You know, um, what if they did something like that on the, like the rat rig or something? Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you Neptuned in for this? Got it, got it. Ryan, have a good one. Thank you. I appreciate it. Homework. Get the homework done. I'll, uh, I'll watch your video as soon as we are done. Sam loves you. <laughs> yeah. We're rocking. This thing's moving the table for sure. This thing's huge. Try a bed level test. Love you too, Sam. Uh, is that a thing on the SD card? I'll try it if it is. Thanks for the hearts, whoever that was. I think I think my uh, wife said that my son is passed out on the couch currently. Oh, they're having a couch nap. Limited times. No, no. No. Hello. Just a uh, just slice a square that is point two tall and four twenty by four twenty. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. 
just a giant square, right? All right. Here's how, uh, yeah. No, he's three. Uh, he'll, be, he'll be actually almost four now. So, but um, he's filling in the top now, starting to. So, yeah, this is the Neptune 4 Max. This thing is a beast. It's not terrible to build at all. Um, it is, it's, it's huge. It's a huge bed flinger. Um, we've topped, we've had some fun. We've upgraded the firmwares. Yeah, yeah. Milk. Junk on milk, yeah. I'm I'm tired. We had a concert last night. We got home late, and then he was up at uh, like 5.50 this morning. So Stop the print and do a bed level test. How long is that going to take? <laughs> no. No, let's not do that. Don't forget to turn on the large fan to see if it makes a difference. What if it comes off? I'm so scared. Here we go. You ready? Oh, my God. It's so loud. Ah, I'm, I know you can I know you can hear this. Uh, final layer. We saw last night we saw a band called the Scary Vore. They're from uh, Scotland. And they're out here. That's who we saw last night. I like that my face is right in the box where the other like full screen is, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can hardly hear it? Whoa. Probably, maybe my mic is blocking it out a little. <laughs> Back, think someone's come to vacuum the floors, huh? There we go. 19 minutes. Let's see. It's a 19-minute bench, so the bed level test can be done straight after the stream. <laughs> yeah. That would require me to open a slicer and do the things. And I need to check this printer. I don't know if I've... I mean this printer, this computer. To be honest, I'm not sure if I installed a, a slicer on this computer. I moved this uh, computer over here to stream with, and a different computer is over there uh for other other things video wise yeah you get your prints done and hair drying at the same time i like it i like it thank you tk appreciate that it is loud it is loud wow Doesn't look bad though. I don't know if I can get you a closer look right now, but just ran the bed level test. One hour forty seven minutes. <laughs> Sliced it, yeah. Three D and T. I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know if I have Orca on this. I'm gonna throw Orca on it. Um, yeah. I, I mean, like, here's the thing. It is. It is a thousand millimeters. 1,000 millimeters tall that you can print, right? They call it printable 800 by 800 by 1,000. So uh, because I'm real bad at that conversion, let's just do this. That is 39.37 inches. Okay. 39.37 inches is... We'll call it just shorter than my desk here. So, um, that's 39 and this is 39 and a half inches. So, you can't, I mean, you can't see this. It is uh, 10 inches, 10 and a half inches taller than this the height of this printer that you could print, right? Um, whenever force it, slice, slice it, not ran it. Yeah, this, so that, that, that's a thousand. That would be as tall as you can print. Yeah, exactly. 36 inches and three feet. So it's, 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 uh, three feet, three inches tall that you can print. Right. Um, and then 
but 800 is about like 31 inches, 31 and a half, we'll call it. So 31 and a half inches square, let's see, is right there. So we're talking about the orange giga storm, okay? That is 17 inches is, <laughs> right? 17 inches is the, the width of this bed right now. Okay, it'll be 31 and a half inches. <laughs> yeah. Slightly less, but yeah, exactly. I mean, just it's gonna be it's crazy. Look at this. This is gonna be the the size that you can build on. That's it's gonna be crazy. Not this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. The orange giga storm. It's it's a monster. It literally is a piece of furniture. Um, <laughs> no, they're going to ship it with a .2 nozzle. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Be up there. <laughs> it does come with a .4. That is, that's hilarious. It might as well come with a pellet feeder. You know? Just throw pellets right in it. Let it do its thing. This thing's rocking. Um... The monster printer, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it'll come with a point two for finer detail. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's the inside, that's the print area. The print area, um, is that's the inside. So, the, the frame itself is huge, it's huge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kid breaks something, Papa runs in the back room, comes out with a giant print. Six days later, he comes out with a giant print, right? Oh, there goes that. Could I pause? Could I test the pause and print function? I can. Should I do it? Let me know in the chat. Should we try to let this finish or should I try to pause it and print it? Quick, quick let me know and we'll we'll know. Cause we're on the st uh, we're on the middle now, just about. Do it. People are saying, do it. Pause it. All right, here we go. Paused. Yeah, one eternity later. We have paused. It's parked. It's making some weird noises. Resume. Kind of stringy, I'm not gonna lie. But I hit resume, so we'll see what happens. Oh, it's purging. That's not my favorite. I mean, it, as long as you catch it, it's probably okay. What is it doing? It's just you and film in here. Oop, I grabbed it. All of that, I don't know if you can see that, came out. Let's see. All of this got purged. Oh, it's supposed to shake it off? Okay. I mean, cool. That's a cool thing if it does that. Kind of scares me just to like leave it and hopefully it falls off, right? Uh, has power fail and resume, somebody says. I need to put a new battery in this. But, um, yeah, one eternity later. That's funny. He prints, a, it prints like a whole house or something. Yeah, you, I just did this tonight. <laughs> oh, got it. If you purged, it would have changed colors. Okay. Oh, jeez. That makes sense. Ooh. Makes sense. I got you. Nice. I agree on uh, what you guys are saying. Purging's good, especially if you're doing like a 
a mid print color change, right? Let's see. Might have grabbed a bad battery or something. The GoPro battery's down. Over. Um, does it have a limit switch on the ends? No. I don't think so. Um... At that angle, the filament stretched way up top. Um, no way it could have moisture content or it will snap. At least a printer this big should be going through uh, spools. Fast, yes. We've done some good color changes. Um, just edited the G code, it says. Paused and nice. No limit switches needed. Clip, clipper. Clipper. That's the answer. Clipper. Got it. Let's see if this one's good. Oh, no. Hey, it worked. Here we go. All right. Be right back. All right. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Woo! Hopefully uh, StreamYard didn't freak out there for a second. Let's go look. <laughs> you caught me. I had to pee so bad. I ran. I was like, I'll be right back. Check one, two, one, two. We should have audio, so we're good. Um, all right, well, let's see here. Seems like I'm max. Okay, not a YouTube friendly noise that the fans are on in back. Absolutely not. Um, Man, a lot of people use different different types of adhesives or glues. Um, <laughs> Ryan, that's funny. Uh, I like uh, I like 3D Gloop. 3D Gloop is good stuff. If you want to check that out, let's see. There we go. That's what it looks like. I forgot I'm over here. 3D Gloop. This is for PLA. Um, that stuff is is amazing. Good 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 stuff. Disappearing purple, purple disappearing glue is what I use. All right. So we're cruising. Um, we've got to be close here. Let's look. Yeah, it's just working on the top now. Uh, no, it's there. It's not even done with the.
front. How long we got? What I do like is I can do this. So we got 10 minutes left, according to this. Uh, just so you know, I could turn this LED on still. So that's up here. All along inside of this channel is all LEDs. That's pretty cool. Um, what oh, I, I can kind of give you, actually, I can give you a good, here. Oop, wrong one. There you go. Let's see. So you can kind of see it now. And you can turn that on or off. Make it real dark in here. This is the after dark look, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, no accelerator, no accelerator needed for gloop. Um, chloroform. That's funny. They don't have a uh, change color, but they can. Can't be called LEDs. They just just lights. Got it. Print a flying toaster next. Ooh. That is a lot of light that that thing puts out. You see that little spotlight on the hot end? There's one of those, too. Yes. Bad After Dark reference, huh? Just lights, only lights. A torture toaster for clock spring. Psh, psh. That guy. I'm not going to point it out, but this one right here might be the biggest one. I don't know, um, James. I'm not sure if you noticed, or uh, let's see, Jeff Cross. I'm not sure if you know this or not. Um, this is the biggest one I printed. Now I can print it much bigger, right? But there is this. We have this uh, little show called... Audio down, huh? I'll watch it. Let me check. I see it. Let me check. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Almost dead. Hang on. One second, though. Sorry if it popped. But we should be back with Mike. Yeah, baby. Road mics for the win because I had a backup. Now you can have double mics. Dun dun dun. Hang on. Here we go. Check one two. Can you guys hear me now? Hopefully, I see I see audio, so we should be good. But, anyways, what I was trying to tell you, um, hopefully, is that um, Clockspring Sven from Clockspring actually designed the torture toaster for me. For, uh, for my show called Hot Makes. And you can tell because it's on the back. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? Bam! So, um, man, all these, I had people sign this thing at one point, but it, it, uh, man, it definitely sucked it all up. 
anyways, um, yeah. So what's funny is, like, Sven is an evil genius. This was a, 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 a test, kind of a challenge to him. Um, ooh, that's a good question. I don't remember the size of this one anymore. I'd have to go back and look. It's in a video. But I, I didn't write it on the bottom. I just looked. I didn't write it on the bottom like I should have. But it's big. I'm going to make a... I, I'm going to do it. We're going to print. We're going to do one. This one took a while. This one took a while. I want to say... This might have been done... Ugh, it's been a couple years now. But maybe on an Ender 3 Max. Max. Um... What's the size? Oh, you want to know the physical size of it? Well, I can, I could show you this. This is the scale of it. <laughs> that, uh, the black one is 100%. This one, and it'll sit on the the handle of that one. But yeah, um, this was awesome. So we we challenged Sven, and he came up with this thing, and it, it's freaking awesome. Uh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, see? Look at that. Um, and this one, from the handle, let's see. All right, close enough. From the handle to the back is about 10 and a half inches. Give or, give or take, it's hard to measure that. Um, probably 300%. That sounds about right-ish. It is uh, four and a half inches thick, or you know, wide, and it is not extended. Six, about six inches tall. Yes, let's do it. Uh, I think three three hundred percent is probably close. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Let's see. This thing is shaking the torture coasters. Happy birthday, Maker Viking. I think it was Llama's birthday too, right? Happy birthday. Everybody had birthdays today. Uh, well, the, the thing said the Benchy was only like, um, I'm not sure. It says I have three minutes left. I think it was like 27 minutes. Yeah, it does say 27 minutes on here. Um, four and a half hours on my K1 for, for what? Yes. Torture, torture toasters take a long time to print. They absolutely do. There was, it's supposed to be a torture. So, you know, it can't just be easy, right? It can't be slow and easy. Uh, it can be slow. It can't be easy. Um, yeah. Llama and Viking. I'm not sure. 300% torture toaster. On a K1? Holy shite. Four and a half hours for a 300% torture toaster. Wow. Oh, a regular one. A regular one. Okay. I was going to say, that would be ridiculous. Like, like That's like a point. had to be like a, a one millimeter nozzle or 0.6. But um, yeah, I'll do it. I ain't afraid. I'll load up this. You know, it's going to take more than that filament, though, probably. But we'll, we'll do that. We can do that. A giant um, fill-the-bed-sized torture toaster. I like it. I like it. Again, happy birthday. I think, like, I think there were Llama and someone else had a birthday, too, I think. So happy birthday, everybody out there. We are so close. It's doing the roof right now. It's got two minutes. I really like that I can move that. Yeah, yeah. It's three times torture. Once you print, once you print it once on your patients and once on your wall. Yeah, yeah. You just hope you. If I do, if I do a full bed on this one, we gotta hope we don't have a uh, failure, right? Yeah, a giga? I'm doing it. We're going to do it. We'll do a torture toaster on um, if if I get a giga. Wink, wink. 
Um, Benjamin, I have an inner three with a dry box, and there's about a, an inch of exposed space where filament is bare. Should I particularly worry about the travel path to make sure it's completely closed? Nah. What kind of filament are you printing? I mean, if it's an inch and it's going pretty close to directly in and printing right away, I don't think that's going to be a big deal. But that's my opinion. I probably wouldn't. Um, if you have the, the PTFE tube to do it, you could. Then it's, then it's enclosed all the way until it gets to the nozzle, theoretically, right? Um, so it has Wi-Fi built in and supports Clipper. Yes, David S. Wi-Fi is built in. There's a little antenna on this side. Uh, I did not do that part yet. Um, and it has Clipper on board. We did upgrade the, uh, there's a, a patch kind of thing, a hot fix, and then there's firmware and then there's screen firmware. We did all three of those already. So it's running on the newest that they have. Um, oh yeah, it has ethernet as well. It does come with an ethernet cable too. It is done. Two days, 21 hours, 12 minutes. 1,947 grams. Uh, okay, 31 minutes total. It says return. Great. Let's check out this bad boy. Someone says so. Someone sliced it. Two days, 21 hours, 12 minutes at 1,947 grams is on Orca preset. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah, that first layer is way better. Look at that. That first layer is so much better. Um, I think I threw that other one over here in the trash, but uh, I probably did. I did because I wasn't paying attention. I was going to show you the difference of the first layers, but it um, doesn't matter. That would be funny. All right, here we go. Uh, not too bad there. Not terrible. A little bit here. Um, can read the words on the bottom or the letters. Can almost read the back. It's hard to see. Um, has the classic line, of course. Let's see if you can see that. All right down the center. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on this. It's black filament. Um, I do notice inside some stringing. So that could be dialed in. It could be the filament preset. I mean, I just did whatever was preset on this. Um, so maybe it's not set up for this. Definitely some... Yeah. Can't see the pause line. Um, not really. There's a line like right here. It's very hard to see, but I don't know that that's the pause line, though. I think that's the... Classic benchy line. Um, a little bit of stringies in there. I don't know if you can see them, but a little bit. Um, stack looks pretty stacky. Not terrible. Top layers. Not bad. Not bad. Use a, fish, use a piece of filament as a fishing line for the hole in the back. Uh, you mean here? Uh, Benchies? Ooh. I, I would love to do that. Um, donate them, but my son loves Benchies. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, he, he loves Benchies. I'm trying to find a piece of filament. I don't know if I have a piece. I'm going to have to go find a piece of filament here. Oh, I think I found a piece, luckily. So you want to see if this will go in this hole? I'm guessing. This one or this one? I don't know. 
what you guys let's see it, that one it fits kind of i mean it definitely kind of goes in there this one goes in this one not so much little strings here some string a lot of uh, not a lot but some strings on the inside yeah i mean it's not terrible the hole on the back deck yeah definitely definitely filament is not going in that hole if this is the hole you're talking about there's no way it's like half the size or something that hole um you know we just printed a tiny benchy on a 420 millimeter bed right so there is that um cool uh i spent more time trying to get the thing to print than printing eight and a half out of ten someone told me it's supposed to work interesting it goes in the in the back like there's a hole in the back here oh, you can't see that but it does go in that like that. Interesting. Um, I would have to say, not a bad machine. Uh, first print is decent. I mean, it's a good benchy for however long it really took. Um, I can't comment on much more than the first print, but I can comment on the build was pretty easy. Updating the firmware, well, you had instructions, all of it was there for you, so that was actually pretty easy. Um, um, definitely need to see more prints. I agree with TK on that one. It's massive. I cannot wait to get something larger on this thing. Um, someone said I should do a, a torture toaster, so we might just do it. Let it fly and pray. <laughs> um it does have a 0 0.04 nozzle, a 0.4 nozzle, sorry, on it. And I really think something this size should have a bigger nozzle, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, uh, one millimeter, something like that. Uh, I heard they came out with those nozzles now, so I'm probably going to get some because it, I think that's just a better idea. Um, definitely solid. Filament is definitely on the top. There is a filament runout sensor that you can kind of see right here, but filament sits way up here. And if I had a three kilogram roll up there, which I'm not even sure this would hold. I hope it holds a three kilogram roll. I have one in the other room I could find out, but um, that would be interesting. Um, I really, I mean, everything else really quality feels good. I like that the touch screen you can, I mean, yeah, the touch screen I can move around. Um, it has a lot of good information. I think people were saying that the clipper screen would be better. I can't speak for that because I don't have one of those to talk about. Um, the filament would be good to have a, a stand of some sort. Um, uh, let's see. These really fast printers tend to squish the first layer, which is a problem for a torture toaster. Use... Uh, just use Z offset on first layer. Not a bad idea. Um, you know, I think overall, not a not a bad machine. First, just first impressions. I think that um, it looks like there's a bunch of extra stuff on like printables and stuff that you could. That's what Jeff is saying. Um, proprietary special nozzles only grab a how with Elgu. Yeah. At least they're easy for sure. I I didn't swap it out yet, but it definitely is very long. I put it in this bag over here. Um, hey, you know I have to say, as far as unboxing and stuff went good. Now let's see if I can make this down so you can go. You can't. I can't even get this whole thing in frame right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's solid. I think that it is a solid printer. I need a lot more time with it to to recommend it or something. Um, but first impressions, it's, you know, it's pretty solid. It is loud, especially with this fan on it's loud. Um, definitely not something that I'm going to be sleeping next to or even close. The long nozzle is long. Yes. Yes. 
Um, hopefully, uh, I can get more prints out of this thing than, than ETH prints, it looks like. Um, oh, nice. Good to know, 3DT. But yeah, uh, yeah, not bad. There is a link in the description below if you want to check it out. I think... Nice work. I can't wait to get, I can't wait to actually use this for what it's for. And that's big printing. Um, I'm not, it wouldn't be a printer I'm using all the time because I don't print giant things a lot, but I do know it'll come in handy when I do need to print stuff that's big. Yeah. Jeff is saying, you know, good, good point. I wish you had experience that they did. Um, did you build that table or did you buy it? Are you talking about this? There's a video. Check it out. I say that uh, jokingly because I got I got made fun of for doing a desk video, but it is uh, it is actually a very nice desk. Um, I really like it. Flexi Spot is what it's called. Flexi F L E X I Spot. I have a video. Go to my channel, search desk. You'll find it. <clears throat> um, Ooh, TK, that's a cool idea. Like a, a giant T-Rex, that'd be sick. Um, yeah, you, they, you know, they sit until you need them. And then when you need them, great. But I think, you know, if anyone has any last minute questions, that's awesome. I'm going to get flying and spend three and a half hours. But it's been a lot of fun hanging out with everybody. Uh, Full-size skeleton, love it. The edge of desk, that's right. Um, um, yeah, I think Brian has a flexi spot desk as well. Anyways, uh, would fit nice in the background. Yeah. Yeah. A skeleton. That would be like right here. That'd be sick. Um, I have an idea for this space. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. We'll see. We'll see. I can't put anything on the walls in this place. Um, or hang things on the walls, technically. But I have an idea. Hmm. Um, flex spot equals good, yes. Have I printed a flexible dragon? Not on this one, I haven't. I should print a flexible dragon. Uh, ooh! <laughs> shots fired, shots fired. Uh, anyways, I gotta fly. Yeah, my my... Uh, my kids crashed on our couch too. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, I really appreciate everybody coming. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you, Elgu, uh, for sending this over. Like I said, I think I said early in this uh, video, they sent me this. Uh, they didn't ask me for anything. No money changed hands. It wasn't a paid review or anything like that. It was just a, here's a printer. Check it out if you want to kind of thing. Um, and I wanted to, so that's pretty cool. I like it. Hopefully uh, soon you'll see another Elgu project, uh, printer on the channel, but I'm not sure where I will, I'm going to be able to build that one, if, if that means anything. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe. Keep checking out the channel. Thank you guys so much for making everything possible. Um, the 100,000 plus subscribers is all because of you guys, and I can't thank you all enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, coming, saying hi, all the things. Um, stay tuned. Um, if not tomorrow night, next Monday, uh, Hot Makes will be back. I promise. It's coming. Um, it's going to be fun. I, I'm, I'm pumped for it. So I miss Hot Makes a lot. I miss seeing what everybody's doing. It's the only time I really take to go look, and, and I haven't been doing that. So I need to do it. Stay tuned. We're coming back. It'll be awesome. See you guys soon. Thank you guys for hanging out for Sunday night with me or Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning, wherever you're at, right? Uh, Monday morning, maybe in some places of the world. But uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Thank you again for everything. And uh, stay tuned because we're going to be opening this soon. Yeah, this is this is for you guys. So thank you guys so much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Now I'm really going. Midwest goodbye thing, you know. It's just you just gotta go. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.